From D. Bruce Selby Stadium and Enid's the Scortle Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. Tonight, a big Class B semifinal matchup as the Balco Forgan Bulls take on the Dewar Dragons. The Dragons are the defending champions in Class B, and they carry a 27-game winning streak into tonight's contest. Balco Forgan has won their last seven games since their only loss of the season to Laverne. Dewar ended Balco Forgan's season a year ago in the quarterfinals. It was a decisive 68-18 win. It's a great matchup of quarterbacks tonight. Jamison Ross has thrown for almost 3,000 yards and rushed for another 800 and has contributed to 58 touchdowns to the Dragons' cause. For Balco Forgan, it's Jaden Hall, a dynamic dual-threat performer. He has a hand in 65 touchdowns this year for the Bulls. Adam Dieselhorst is by my side tonight. And, Adam, we've been following both these teams from a far, and I look forward to getting a good look at both of them tonight. Yeah, you know, we had uh, Coach Bean from Dewar on our preview show earlier on this year, and obviously the success that they had last season. And Balco's kind of one of those up-and-coming teams throughout the last few years, and they're a team kind of more in our area of the state that we tend to cover in eight-man. And they have made some noise this year. And I'll tell you one thing that I noticed, just looking at the athletes that both these two teams have, you can definitely tell that they've got some players, and uh, there, could, there could be a bunch of points scored today. Yeah, there will be some points scored tonight. Balco Forgan is averaging 53 points per game. That's impressive. Dewar is rolling up an astounding 65 points per contest this year. It's the Scordo Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance as Balco Forgan takes on Dewar with a trip to the gold ball game on the line. It's coming up next from Enid on the Scordle.com and the Scordle app. Back after this. Okay. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-priced tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village and South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for-sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorse back with you at D. Bruce Selby Stadium in Eden, getting ready for this big semifinal matchup in Class B from Northwest Oklahoma. Out on the panhandle, the Balco Forgan uh, Bulls, they take on Dewar from the eastern part of the state, the Dewar Dragons, and Dewar, the defending state champions in Class B, check in with a record of 13 0. They won District B5. Balco, 12 1 on the season. They were second in B1 behind Laverne, the only team that they lost to this last season. Dewar, the black uniforms, black tops and black pants with orange numbers and black helmets. Balco Forgan, the co-op. Balco and Forgan out there in the panhandle in the whites with the white helmets, the white tops and the white pants. This really should be a good matchup. Those B1 squads always show up nicely every year in the playoffs and Matter of fact, three of the four teams from B1 are playing in the playoffs and the semifinals tonight. Yeah, we talk about it every year. I mean, that is obviously, arguably, you know, not arguably, it is the best, you know, the best conference in, in B. And, you know, Coach Bean's team obviously is is the one disruption that has been to that uh, district. And so 
Um, you know, I'm just really anxious to watch this. I'm just – I'm really surprised on Dewar's side as many kids as they lost last year. And then you look look up and down the roster at their starters, and it's full of seniors again. So you know they had a, lot, a great junior class this last year. So I think this is going to be a great matchup. Hey, you talk about Dewar. They knocked off Laverne in that state championship game a year ago, 38-20. to A couple of rounds earlier, they beat Balco in the quarterfinals, 68-18. to They average 65 points a game. They give up 17 a contest. For Balco Forgan, they average 53 points a game and give up 12. I don't think this is going to be an offensive uh, or a defensive ball game tonight. Yeah, I think that the game's going to be in the 40s, and uh, I honestly think whoever cracks 50 is probably going to win the game. And if that is the case, we're going to have a lot of fun <laughs> calling this one. Balco Forgan will get the ball first. It's Thomas Brownfield teeing it up at the 40-yard line. And we are ready for high school football on a Friday night. D. Bruce Selby Stadium, Enid. I don't know if it's halfway or not, but close enough. And a little short kick taken at the 29-yard line. Fumbled for a moment, but on the return comes Jordan McGowan. And McGowan to the 34-yard line, and that is where Balco Forgan will start. First down and 10 from the 34. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst, and the Scordal crew, glad to be with you. It's been a long day for me. I did a state championship game the af this afternoon on the uh, Game Day Oklahoma Radio Network down at uh, Edmond at UCO. Made the trip up here, got here about an hour before game time, and here we go. There's the first snap, and there's your quarterback, Jaden Hall. First play, he takes off and gains about 16, and he was one slip tackle from going to the house. And big hole. They like that QB counter play, obviously, and that line up front for Balco is big. So from the 34-yard line to the 49, that's a gain of 15 on first down. So first and 10 just shy of midfield, and – They'll run him again. Angling left this time, and he'll be taken down by Thomas Brownfield, but not before he gains about six to bring up second down and four. And once again, you know that it's a triple option, but out of gun, and it just makes it so difficult because you have the inside handoff, you have the, the fullback they can hand to, and obviously the QB run game. Second down and four. They'll go right this time, the first time somebody else has carried the ball other than Jaden Hall. And they hand it off to – give it off to Nathan Smith. And Smith will pick up about a yard or so, and that is it. Third down and three. Pistol formation, wideouts left and right, and Hall to throw this time. Pass co – oh, Drop. Cotton dropped out here in the left flat. As Jordan McGowan couldn't reel it in, so now you've got fourth down and three, and a decision early on in this one. I, you know, Dewar's had a great defense, but I would imagine that at this point we will see Balco Forgan go for it on their side of the field, on Dewar's side of the field, and they'll take that chance. Fourth down and three from the 44-yard line, just underway, 10:34 to play in the first quarter. No score. Seems to be a little confusion here on this play. For Balco. Right out to the right side, a tight end left and a slot right as well from the pistol. A little play action, and Ooh, the pass coverage. is deflected away, incomplete, and Dewar gets a stop. Great coverage there by five by Thomas Brownfield for Dewar. A fantastic answer there defensively for Dewar. So Dewar will take over first down and 10. They'll start this drive on their own 44 yard line with 10 and a half to play. And that is something that Balco Forgan probably has not seen very much. A, not a three and out, but it was about a five and out. They did get one first down. So now it's first down and ten for Dewar. The quarterback is Jamison Ross. He's got some great numbers. I'll get him to you in just a second. And on first down, they'll Ooh, hand off. And across the midfield stripe, gaining about six yards on first down, maybe seven. That carry is... Kalen Carter, their second leading rusher, 47 carries for 506 yards rushing and seven touchdowns. And they will push it on first down, on second down. There's Carter again for first down yardage. He'll get down to the 42. Both times they're running the ball right at Jaden Hall, too. They, they like the look they have on that side of the, of the, uh, of the formation. 
So down to the 42-yard line, a gain of eight. Brings up first down and 10 from the gun. This time, Ross wants to throw. He's thrown for almost 3,000 yards. Boy, he's got an arm. Man. And he had a wide open receiver down the near sideline. Overshot him a little bit. That's Thomas Brownfield. That's his Broomfield. That's his fine. That's his uh, favorite receiver. 65 balls that uh, Brownfield has caught this year for 1196 yards and 18 touchdowns. Yeah, the stat sheets for both sides look like video game stats. Pretty phenomenal. Well, they really do. Jamison Ross, 131 of 200 passing for 2,981 yards, 45 touchdowns and two interceptions, and on second down and 10, a little quick hitter will pick up five to bring up third down and five. And on third down and five, a carry again by Kalen Carter. They are wasting no time. They're pushing the tempo. And now Dewar has a fourth down and short situation. With the carry down to the 20 or the 33 yard line. And they'll give him a first down. Let's mark it at the 32. Play clock to go. There we go. So first down and 10 from the 33-yard line. 9.23 to play in the first quarter. Who got him? Five the easy way right there. If somebody jumped or, or did they? I thought they did. They don't throw the flag. Play on. First down and five. Quarterback mm -hmm. draw. Here's Jamison Ross angling left down to the 21-yard line. He'll pick up 12. Well, and the one thing impressive so far early on is obviously Balco has a, s a sizable advantage, but the lineup front for Dewar is doing a good job holding their own against that four-man front. Nine minutes to play in the first quarter. No score. Opening drive of the ball game for fumble. Dewar. And there is a fumble, and I think Balco picks it up. No, nah, Dewar got it, I think. No, Balco has it. No indication yet they're going nope. to keep it with Dewar. So the Dragons will keep the possession. So now it's second down and 10 at the 21-yard line. Here's a timeout. For, for now they're going to spot the ball is what they're doing. Here comes the seventh play of the drive, second down and a long nine from the 20, just outside the 20-yard line. From the gun, Ross. With Kalen Carter to his right, option, pitch, mm -hmm. Carter. Nice. To the edge, turns it up now down to the 16-yard line, gaining five. Stop was made by Peyton Conkle. That was a good job coming up and in, in pursuit from the secondary by Conkle, making the tackle. Well, so third down and five as we are four minutes into this ball game. Balco took the opening kickoff, got across midfield, went forward on fourth down and couldn't convert. Dewar on their opening possession, now marching down inside the 20-yard line. Handoff this time. There's Carter. Carter down inside the 15 to the 14-yard line, picking up two. And that time, a much better job there up front by uh, Caden De La Torre. Boy, that guy is a big dude. Six foot eight, 302 pounds. Here's a big, big play right here. It's fourth down and three. The ball resting at the 14-yard line. They've got to get inside the 11 to move the chains. Two wideouts left. And a tight end to the right side. He wants to throw. Left got side him. out pattern. Ball. First down, down to the six-yard line. As making the catch is Thomas Brownfield. His first catch of the night. Jamison Ross's favorite receiver. He'll mark it down to the six. Gain of eight. For Brownfield, that's his 66th catch of the season. First down and goal. Hand off to Carter. He'll get down to the three. Well, I can promise you neither one of these teams are used to having sustained drives like this. So it's going to be you know, who can be patient enough to, you know, allow for their offense. You know, they're going to bust one or two plays here and there. But, man, early on, kind of a slugfest back and forth. I'm going to mark it at the four-yard line. Second down and goal. Oh, good, good defense. Yeah, that's Carter again who tried to – Find some room on the right side, nothing do, and they'll lose a couple of yards. I believe leading the way for Balco Forgan that time was Adam Creason, a senior, 6'3", 228. They'll go back a couple of yards to the six. So now it's third down and goal at the six. As we tick down to the halfway mark of the first quarter, 
Still no score. A couple of teams that both average well over 50 points a game. They haven't been scoreless this deep into a ball game very often this year. Maybe never. Might be a broken play. And the it quarterback, was. Ross, oh, is trying run. to make something happen. And he'll get a couple of yards as he slipped a tackle. I'll mark him down to the four-yard line, picking up two. And it will be fourth down and goal at the four. And watch for five here. That's where they're going. Uh, if, the, if you're doer, you're looking for your, uh, your guy looking for a little corner out possibly. Here comes the 13th play of the drive. And I think Dewar may have drawn Balco Forgan off sides. Yep, half the distance. And that changes your playbook a little bit because now you only have two yards to gain. Yeah, so. now it's yeah, fourth and goal at the two. Clock continues to roll with five and a half to play in the first quarter. Ross from the gun with Carter to his left and Ross rolling oh, to wow. his left Good and play. he'll be sacked back beyond the 10-yard line. Great defensive play right there. Adam Creason led the way, and that's a huge stop on fourth and goal. Yeah, Each just... team has a big fourth down stop now as Balco Forgan will take over. Back to the 14-yard line, a loss. A loss of 12 yards. So they'll take over at the 14-yard line with five minutes and 20 seconds to play. There's a fumble. Ball is popped free. And diving on it for Balco Forgan was Adam Creason. There'll be a loss, but at least they do keep the possession. So they'll mark it back at the eight-yard line. That's a loss of six. Brings up second down and 16. On second down and long, this is the quarterback, Jaden Hall, and Hall will get a little bit of it back out to the 15-yard line. His third carry of the ball game as he will pick up. About eight yards. About eight yards, yep. Man, he's a big kid. Good-looking athlete, isn't he? I, I hear he's got some Division II offers is what I've heard, so he looks the part for sure. So out of the 15-yard line, again, we'll give him nine yards in the carry. Third down. Hall wants to throw. Rolling right. Pick. Pass is intercepted. Pass is picked off by Thomas Brownfield. Boy, I tell you what, we're going to call his name a lot. And for Brownfield, that is his team-high ninth interception of the season. Yeah, it was a kind of a strange decision, too, because it really wasn't even a receiver in the area. It was almost like he was he was trying to throw it away, but threw it right to, right to Brownfield. So Dewar takes over first down and 10 at the 26-yard line. They've got the short field. This has been a very up-tempo game offensively both ways, so ne neither team has scored. Pass is incomplete. It's Jamison Ross, I think he thought, well, he was looking down the near sideline for Thomas Brownfield. Brownfield thought he was being held. The officials don't, ag they don't agree. And just, you know, Jamison Ross has just got a little bit of jitters. Both, both quarterbacks early on throwing the ball have some jitters, as you can tell, overthrowing the receivers or underthrowing and um, – Plan to see some connections from both of these guys throughout the game. Second down and 10 from the 26-yard line. Ross will look to the near sideline to his coach, and he wants to throw. Little inside screen. The ball is caught for short yardage. That is Trylon Mack, Triton Mack, that makes the catch his seventh of the year. Down to the 21-yard line, gaining five, and that will bring up third down and five. Now, what do we know about, about the high-scoring game, right, Tom? Exactly right. <laughs> We're almost a quarter in with no score. Goose eggs up there. Let's see. Fewest points that uh, Dewar scored this year is 48 against Regent Prep back in week two. Throwing toward the end zone in traffic. Did he catch it? No, nope, it was it's incomplete. incomplete. It bounced on the ground. That'll bring up. 
Fourth down and five. A great job for suit there that time by Valco. They had a another time they had a man right in the quarterback's face, make it difficult to step into your throw. So fourth down and five, ball resting at the 21-yard line. Dewar 0 for 1 on fourth down so far tonight. Take it back. I think they're 1 for 2. I think they went for it on yeah, fourth down twice in that last drive. So they're, they're 1 for 2. Timeout. But a timeout, which is good for us because we can take a break. The tempo's been breakneck. 317 to play in the first uh, quarter. We're scoreless. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12 she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about the Olivas Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definitely. Fourth down and five for Dewar. Going oh, for it, throw toward the end zone, wide open in the end Dropped zone, it. but the ball hung up there a little bit, and it gave the Bulls a chance to get back and nip it away. That is Jordan McGowan, good defensive play, incomplete. And now Dewar will give the ball right back. Just like we it's thought, a defensive battle, right? Exactly right. 3.13 to go in the first quarter, and neither team has scored. Of course, Dewar is threatened much more than Balco with the two early possessions on their end into Balco territory. So first down and 10 hole. with 3.13. There goes Hall, left side, and he is just dragging a defender. He was pulling Thomas Brownfield down the field across the 40-yard line out of the 43. That's a gain of 22 on first down. And you can tell every time when they run that QB counter when that hole is going to be there. Man, that is a great play. I would just keep running it until they stop it. And quickly, right side, hold. trying to find some running room for Nathan Smith this time. And Smith will pick up about five or so across the 45-yard line out to the 48. And there's a holding penalty, so bring it back. They'll mark it off from about the original line of scrimmage, so it'll be first down and 20. Actually, they'll say first down and 21, move it back to the 31-yard line. So first and long for Balco Forget. Put a man in motion from left to right. That is Nathan Smith. Hall to throw, has a man across the middle, wide Ooh. open. The ball is caught, and he was popped. Oh, they're going to give him the catch at the 49-yard line of Dewar. Is hanging on to that one. Great catch by Jordan McGowan. From the 31 out to the 49-yard line, it's a gain of 20. Jaden Hall's first completed pass of the night for McGowan. It's his 46th catch of the season. Second down and two. Hall again. Good patience. And he'll be pushed back and... Making the con there was some initial contact, but pushing him back is Thomas Brownfield. A gain of, we'll give him one. It'll be third down and one. The 48 yard line. Under two minutes to play in the first quarter, still scoreless. Quarterback sneak. Ooh. Hall slips out of a tackle, bouncing right, stays Goodness. on his feet, just lowers his shoulder, and pushes forward across the 40 yard line down to the 39 as he will pick up. Nine yards on that carry. Well, it makes it so difficult because of his size and how he stays so low to the ground. I mean, he did such he broke three tackles there and gained the yardage necessary. Six carries, 62 yards for Jaden Hall. Nice play. Pitch near side. Turning it up is Nathan Smith, and Smith down to the 31. You know, that's another thing, too. Two teams that are used to scoring a lot and, you know, 
you also got to see who is willing to be patient and just take what comes to you, you know, and that's one thing that you see in these in these games a lot of times early in these eight-man games with two good teams. Second down and short after the nine-yard gain. Pistol formation, wideouts left and right. They're tied into the right side. Jaden Hall, option calls his own number, and he'll get down to the 26, picking up four. Well, and that's the other thing about that, too, on that option play. You better be ready to break down and make a tackle because if he gets his movement moving forward and, and a lean on, he's going to push forward for three or four yards every time. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, first down and 10 from the 26. Option pitch right side, that time Nathan Good Smith run. will stay on his feet inside the 25-yard line down to the 21. There's a gain of five on first down. So second down and five now from the 21. This is a great drive by Balco. This time it's the quarterback Hall. Left side, Hall from a block to the 10. He's going to get in. Tiptoeing down the sideline in for a touchdown. Great run. For Jaden Hall, his 34th rushing touchdown of the season. He scores from 21 yards out. And Balco Forgan jumps on top six to nothing with eight seconds to play in the first quarter. It looks like Brownfield may be hurt. And that is not what Dewar wants to see, as that is exactly who that is. Thomas Brownfield, the sophomore, the senior. We've called his name a lot. He's their leading receiver on the offensive side, but we've called his name on the defensive side as well. He already has an interception tonight, his ninth of the season. And you really hope that he can get up and stay in this ball game. But that drive was all Jaden Hall. That looked like maybe it was his shoulder, maybe, I think. Nine plays, 79 yards. And they're taking a look at Brownfield. Let's go ahead and take a break really quick. Seven seconds to play in the first quarter. It's now 6 to nothing with a two-point conversion upcoming. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. Now, good news is Thomas Brownfield pops back up. We think he got the wind knocked out of him, which means we'll probably see him sooner rather than later. After the touchdown run of 21 yards by Jaden Hall, they'll go for two. And the snap to Hall off the left side. He dies for the end zone. He comes up short. So eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 6 to nothing, And you're watching the game of the week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Jaden Hall with his 34th rushing touchdown of the season puts Balco Forgan on top six to nothing after the two-point con uh, conversion run by Jaden Hall fails. Eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Capped a nine-play, 79-yard drive. It took three minutes and one second. And on that uh, touchdown run, a little concerning for Dewar was Thomas Brownfield went down, but we think he just got the wind knocked out of him. He popped back up, and he's drinking some water now. He's upright. I bet he'll be back in there. He's been a, he's one of their best players. Yeah, and you hate to see that in games like this. Peyton Conkle's the kicker. Good kick. Inside Ooh. the 15-yard line, and a big return right up the middle out to the 41-yard line. That was Ty Whitlow on the Return and Peyton Conkle, the kicker, <laughs> makes the stop. The one-man show. Exactly <laughs> right. So He doesn't need anybody out there. He's got it under control. So Dewar takes over first down and 10 from their 41-yard line, trailing now 6 to nothing. And I would say, I don't have a way of knowing this, but I'm going to guess they've not trailed very much this season. <laughs> no, I'm sure they haven't. I mean, I don't think either of these teams trailed a lot. Obviously, you know, Balco led most of the game against Laverne until late. Yep. So Jamison Ross, two for five passing for 13 yards. He's also rushed the ball five times for five yards. And on first down, not a whole lot there. As, once again, Adam Creason blew it up. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter. We're a quarter in here at D. Bruce Selby Stadium. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 6 to nothing in this Class B semifinal. And you're watching the Game of the Week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Second down and eight from the 43-yard line for Dewar, the first play of the second quarter. Trying to find some running room off right guard is Calum Carter, and there is not a whole lot there, maybe a yard or so. You know, if you're Dewar, look for Jamison Ross to start seeing and finding some opportunities in the run game because uh, Balco is really starting to up front kind of dominate the line of scrimmage. So big third down play right here, third and seven. To throw to his left goes Ross. Now he wants to find some running room off the edge, and he'll be run out of bounds short of the first down. Yeah, he's going to be about three yards short. Actually, yeah. spot, they spotted it further forward. They're going to mark it at the 50-yard line. He got a really good spot, a gain of six to bring up fourth down and one. Couple of scores for you. Class C state championship game in Weatherford tonight. Timberlake has jumped out early on Mountain View Goaty Bow, 20 to 8. That's in the first quarter. And the other Class B semifinal is Laverne over Shattuck, 6 to nothing in the second quarter. And what was the penalty there? I did not see because I was checking the scoreboard. It's a 15 yard penalty. We'll turn third down and seven into third down and 22. 
was it unsportsmanlike yeah. on the sideline? Yeah. So they'll move it back to the thirty to the uh, thirty-five yard line. So it'll be third down at about sixteen. So yeah. back to throw is Ross. To his left, across the middle. Great coverage. The ball Good is deflected catch. and caught. And heading toward the end zone is Thomas Brownfield. He's back in there, and he'll score. The ball was tipped up into the air. He kept his eye on it, reeled it in, and off to the races. It's a 65-yard touchdown hookup from Jamison Ross to Thomas Brownfield. For Jamison, his 46th touchdown pass of the season. For Brownfield, his 19th touchdown reception. We're tied at six. And that's why coaches always tell you if you get a hand on the ball, you try to bat the ball down. Now obviously, you know, you want to get a hand on the ball any way you possibly can. You're not obviously anticipating it to just continue to go right into the hands of the receiver. But great job there by Dewar and by Brownfield, uh, who we thought may not even get up earlier on, makes a huge play there. Yeah, we took that timeout after the touchdown because he was flat on his back. Now they'll go for two, and this would be for the lead. Somebody moved, and they're going to move Dewar back five yards. They'll take the try from the seven-yard line. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorse with you from D. Bruce Selby Stadium in Enid, the Squirtle High School football game of the week, and I guess it's the last one of the year, isn't it? Yeah, it is, unfortunately. Last game of the year that we'll get a chance to call. But we will be covering a lot of basketball. You betcha. We'll be covering the Garber Tournament here mm. in a, couple, a weekend or so. We'll be covering the uh, Tournament of Champions down in, in Tulsa. and so They'll go for two. Oh, he wasn't ready for mm, it. The pass was thrown behind the intended receiver. Tried to find Brownfield again. It's incomplete. 11.05 to play in the first half. We're tied at six. We'll take a break. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordo, presented by High Plains Insurance. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Now the Dragons wasted no time evening this one up after the touchdown by Balco Forgan. 65-yard touchdown pass after that 15-yard unsportsmanlike penalty from Jamison Ross to Thomas Brownfield. The two-point conversion pass no good. Now an onside kick. It's loose and covered by Balco Forgan. Jumping on it was Chisholm Freeman, a junior, and pretty good starting field position for the uh, – for the Bulls. You know, and that's what we normally see in these eight-man games. We don't see a lot of deep kicking. Mostly it's directional or squibs, and um, a lot of times those make big impacts in these games. That drive, five plays, 59 yards. It took just 58 seconds. Balco Forgan first down and 10 from their own 48-yard line. See if they get the Jaden Hall train going again. We're going to hand it off to Nathan Smith, and no Jaden Hall's going to go out and block for him, and face mask. nothing doing. Flag comes in there, and I think this will be either 5 or 15 the easy way for, for Balco Forget. It's either a hold or a face mask, one of the two. I couldn't tell. But it's in the area of either one of those, face mask, yep. It is a 15-yard penalty as well. It looks like just five. Nope, you're right, five. I thought he kept going. Ooh, big hole. Tall again. And he'll get down near first down yardage. I'm telling you, that wears on you too. When those guys in the second level are having to make those kind of tackles, it gets a big 
back like that, it, that becomes less fun, you know, around the third quarter. Nine carries, 92 yards rushing for Jaden Hall, averaging over 10 yards a carry. And that'll be enough for the first down as right up the middle goes Jaden Hall. Inside the 40-yard line to the 39, picking up three. Ten minutes and change remaining in the first half. Balco, Forgan, and Dewar are tied at six. First down and ten for the Bulls. I really like Balco sticking with their QB run game. It hadn't really been stopped for the most part the whole night. Here's a reverse. A little Oh, this is it's a, a flea flicker and going so. deep, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Got him. And the ball is caught inside the five-yard line. Great catch by Adam Creason. Well, the coaches are not very happy from Dewar. The old flea flicker, double reverse, pitch back to the quarterback, and Hall threw a strike. He's getting a flag, Coach Bean is, yeah. So gain on the play of 35 yards. And for Creason, it's his 20th catch of the season. So that penalty will be half the distance. They'll move it down to the two. So it's first down and goal at the two-yard line. That was a sweet play, great execution. And Jaden Hall laid it out there for Adam Creason. Hall this time angling left. He'll get to the goal line. Did he get in? Yes. He did. Touchdown, Jaden Hall. His second rushing touchdown of the night, 35 on the season. Balco Forgan jumps on top 12 to 6, and now we're beginning to go back and forth a little bit the way we thought we might in this one. Yeah, they're both kind of feeling each other out. Big plays, obviously leading to scores. We knew that was inevitable and was going to happen. These two offenses are way too explosive to not see that. I'm telling you, the two-point conversions are going to be huge in these games. I agree. We talked about Timberlake not doing that last week. Hand off to Ooh, oh, Nathan geez. Smith was popped just inside the goal line. He didn't get across. Somebody laid the lumber on him. He comes he up is. short. Balco Forgan leads 12 to 6. The big hit made by Tyler Maldonado. Let's take a break. 9:31 to play in the first half. 12 to 6. Balco Forgan. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Jaden Hall scores on a five-play, 52-yard drive. With a, took a minute and a half off the clock, two-yard touchdown run. And after we had four consecutive drives to start the game with no, no scores, three fourth-down conversions that came up empty and then an interception, we've had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back touchdown drives now. And Balco Forgan leads 12-6, to six, nine and a half to play in the first half. And the boot angling toward the near sideline and out of bounds as Peyton Conkle's kick will set up Dewar with good field position at the 40-yard line. Now you've got to think right now, Josh Bean not real happy with the officiating he's been Called for two unsportsmanlike penalties. I think he's still telling the officials kind of what he thinks about them. And I tell you what, that happens in the playoffs because you get into these playoff games and you're pulling officials from different parts of the state. 
I'll tell you what, during the regular season, you can kind of get into a comfort zone because you see a lot of the same guys week after week, but that is not the case as we get deeper into the playoffs. First down and 10 at the 35-yard line. I believe the crew, that's Inman's crew, I believe. Isn't that who that is? I didn't, we didn't get any cards for the officials' names, but um, and, and one of the better crews in the state as far as eight-man goes, too. And, that, and that's who you're going to have at yep. this point in the season. So I think for the most part, I mean, obviously there's a lot of emotion in these games. Both of these coaches are very animated. Coach Bean is a great guy, fantastic coach. But, you know, anytime you get in these games and you see a call that you don't feel like goes your way, you're going to defend your team and, um, you know, do whatever you can to let those kids know you're behind them. Jamison Ross, three of six passing for 78 yards, including a 65-yard touchdown in the last series. And on first down, handoff. Good tackle. Nothing Goodness doing. Gracious. Staying home. That was uh, Jaden Hall. And he might be hurt. Yeah, that was uh, Kalen Carter who got popped by Hall. Boy, he might be hurt, yes. He'll lose a yard back to the 34-yard line. One thing about B1, those teams out there are physical. Some slobber knockers. Yeah, and he's just got that wind knocked out of him, too. And he got hit hard. And if you're just joining us, Balco scored first on a 21-yard touchdown run by Jaden Hall with eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Quick answer for Dewar, a 65-yard touchdown pass from Jamison Ross to Thomas Brownfield. And then Balco just scored in a two-yard touchdown run by Jaden Hall, capping a five-play 52-yard drive in a minute 31. Second down and 10 now for Dewar. And Ross's pass incomplete to the near side. I tell you, the one thing that's making it tough with Ross is he just has no time to get rid of the ball. And the other part about that, too, is the height. You know, you've got 6'5", 6'5", 6'8", 6'2", across the front. And I promise you, Dewar has not seen anything like that from a length, um, you know, a, a size. That's what's bugging him. We talked about that in that Tonka Wall game and Fairview game. It was hard for the Bernard kid to get his balls off because a couple of those guys up front were so big and so tall. Talk about Jameis and Ross tonight. He's got six carries for 13 yards rushing, now over 800 yards rushing on the season. He came in at 799. Third down and 10. Now he's Ooh, flushed, mask. and they'll throw the flag. You saw his head whip back, and he'll run it out to the 43-yard line. So he'll get a gain of nine, but they're going to tack yardage onto it. And that'll be a 15-yarder, too. And that'll put it across midfield and put Dewar in balco Forgan territory. I was looking, I think, has it been, is this the second year that Balco and Forgan have been co-oping? I believe so, yes. A, a year ago, they went 8-6. and six. Of course, this year, 12-1. and one, But before that, the numbers were down. I saw Balco was like 1-8, and eight, and they won like two or three games over the course of three years. So combining with Forgan has worked out well for both schools. I think Forgan didn't field a team there for a couple of years. Yeah, that's correct. And I can promise you this, knowing the pride that these two programs have in basketball, they will not be combining for basketball. Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's a pretty big rivalry up there. So Yeah, they're pretty close. First down and 10 at the 41-yard line, handoff up the middle, trying to find some running room. That's Marshall Bean getting the carry inside the 40-yard line, down to the 38, picking up three. Interesting to see him back there at tailback. It looks like they're, you know, kind of maybe wanting somebody a little more physical back there to carry the ball. Well, Marshall Bean, he's not carried the ball that much. He's, he's kind of hobbling around a little bit, too. That is the 10th carry of the season for Bean. Second down and eight. Option kind of floats it out there to the near side. That's Bean again. And Marshall Bean will get down inside the 35-yard line. Down to the 33, picking up five. And that time, just great call. They had him beat by alignment on that play, that little quick option pitch play. Here comes the seventh play, the drive. It's third down and a long two. Jameson Ross will check with the sideline. Quarterback, yep, got him. And he'll be slung down 
Caden Della Torre stayed home. Boy, Caden's a big kid. 6'8", 302, as you said earlier. And, boy, he just dwarfed Jamison Ross I mean, he as he was slinging monster. him down. He is a monster. You're exactly right. He loses a yard back to the 34. Anytime you make Adam Creason at 6'3", 228 look small, and obviously he makes Jaden Hall look small too. I mean, he is a big dude. So fourth down and four now for Dewar. They're trailing 12 to six as we'll tick down to seven minutes to play in the first half. And they like to go to five here or maybe a little out route by the inside receiver. Ross to throw. Oh, picked. Intercepted. Going back the other way is Nathan Smith. Smith with a convoy. Ooh, face mask. And he's face mask, stays on his feet to the 25-yard line and down to the 22. Big pick by Nathan Smith. They're going to tack some yardage on to this one as well. Should be half the distance from the 22-yard line. and should be putting it on the 11 by the time all is said and done. Yeah, and Smith got up in the air, man. Great vertical there by him. That was impressive. And that is Jamison Ross's third interception of the season. He came in with well, 46 touchdowns with the one tonight, now his third pick. Well, I don't think Jaden Hall threw very many picks this year, had he? None. Wow, that was his first pick of the season earlier on. Yeah, That's right. you're exactly right. So both of these guys have been very efficient all year. So they'll mark it down to the 11-yard line, and that is where Balco Forgan will start this great drive. Great starting field position with 6.48 to play in the first half, and Balco Forgan leading by a touchdown from the pistol formation. There's it's going to be Hall going left. Angling toward the pylon, touchdown, 11 yards out. And they're going to call a hold on number nine, which I do not agree with that flag. Personally, the kid just fell down, and he landed on top of him. Well, so first and 10 from the 11 will turn into first and 21 from the 21. I'll we'll actually say it happened behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to move it back to the 24-yard line. So first down and 23 from the 24. They can get that first down inside the one. Jaden Hall will have to wait one more carry to go over 100 yards rushing for the night. Pass out into the left flat is reeled in by Jordan McGowan, his second catch of the night. He'll get down to the 19-yard line, picking up five. For McGowan, now 47 catches in the season, team high. Second down and 17 from the 18. Pump fake across the middle. Ball Pick. is intercepted inside the one-yard line, and after... Spotless interception numbers throughout the entire season. There is a second pick. And the pick was made by Kalem Carter, who we saw go down a little while ago, but he comes back and makes a play. And just inside the one, man, huge play there by Dewar. Man, this game is a – we're going to talk about some heavyweights going back and forth. Well, we there were three, what, three interceptions between the two quarterbacks coming into this game. There's been three thrown in the game. Exactly right. So first down and ten from the one-yard line. And what did we say before the ball game? We thought there would be lots of points. These teams have good defenses. We thought the, the offenses would win out. That is not what's happening in this one so far. Exactly the opposite. What the heck do we know? Nothing, as you can tell. First down and 10 from the one-yard line, halfway through the second quarter, 12-6. to six. Dewar, or Dewar trailing with the football. That pass incomplete. Tried to find Marshall Bean, second down and 10. And boy, if you are Dewar, you certainly want to get some yardage here and get out from the shadow of your own goalposts, and you don't want to have to punt from the back of your own end zone. Yeah, and it's 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 risky up front with that four-man front and how big those guys are, too. you got to get something out quick. Look for them to throw something quick to the inside receivers. Timeout, Timeout called by Dewar. Let's take it with them. 6.06 to play in the first half. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 6.12 to 6. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. 
We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst with you at DeBruce Selby Stadium in Enid. Let's check the eight-man football scoreboard. Three games going on, the other Class B semifinal. I just lost my uh, score scoreboard there real quick <laughs> as I pushed the wrong button. 22-6 to six now, the Vern over Shattuck in the second quarter. And the Class C championship game tightening up as Timberlake leads Mountain View. Goaty Bow now 22-16. to 16. Second down and 10. Quick hitter out, pass caught, first down and more. That was a huge play for Dewar right there. The completion to Ty Whitlow, her first, first catch of the night. From the one-yard line out to the 15, so a big 14-yard hookup. Well, and they had that the first time, too, when they were lined up. I was kind of surprised they didn't throw that quick route. The Balco's defensive backs are in OU coverage, about 15 yards off the ball. For Whitlow, his 36th catch of the season. Need to give a shout-out to Todd Miller, the other voice of Squirtle. I believe he's in Corsicana, Texas right now as OBU plays in a bowl game tomorrow. But ah. he sent me a picture from his hotel room. I know he's been following the Bulls all season as well as Dewar and just want to give him a shout-out. That last carry by Caleb Carter. Gain of three. Brings up second down and seven. The ball resting at the 18-yard line. That pass is incomplete on the near side. Now third down and seven. They've tried to work that play three times. It's worked once. Check some scores in 2A as we are giving you some other scores. Uh, Marlow leads you fall 14 to 14-7 in the second quarter. This is pretty surprising. Not surprising that Washington's in the lead, but 14 to nothing. Bakes has an explosive offense. And, man, to keep them with a the goose egg close to the second half, into the first half, that's pretty impressive. Third down and seven for the Dragons. Team that averages 65 points a game so far held to six halfway through the first half or the second Ooh. quarter, and that pass hung up there. And there are a lot of white jerseys in the vicinity. It's incomplete, intended for Ty Whitlow. So now it's fourth down and seven. And will they punt the football? It looks I like they might. They yep. I bet Dewar has not done that very much this season. How about this score in Class A? Ringling and Morrison are goose egged. So far, I could I could see that. I can see that low scoring game. I think I made made a comment. I thought it'd be a low scoring game on the Pickham show the other night. And Pahuska and Cashin have already like quadrupled their output. Oh wow, this is trouble! Snap over the punter's head. He'll get it away. That was impressive. That really oh was gosh. great punt by Thomas Brownfield, and it will be down at the forty eight yard line. What a break for Dewar. That was all Brownfield's athletic ability to kick that one away. Man, there has been some some very impressive plays by the athletes on both sides of the ball with interceptions and that particular play right there. I mean, um, it's it's wild. It's been wild so far, but 12-6, to six, not what we expected, but the game's about what we expected so far. So, Balco Forgan. Co-head coaches Nick Nichols and Jake Regeer with the football. First down and 10 at the Dewar 48-yard line to start the drive. And this time, Hall is taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Big-time play behind the line of scrimmage by Cade Henderson, the sophomore. The loss back across midfield to the 48-yard line, a loss of four. And he's been firing through there every time. That's who was held the previous play before when, when Hall was able to bounce it outside. Good play. Pass left side, caught. Nathan Smith, some running room. Get a little bit of a back across midfield to the 46, picking up six. For Nathan Smith, his ninth catch of the season. So third down and nine. They're going to throw back. But not Ball caught work. right side, oh, but good Adam Creason makes a move, and he's off to the races. He's going to be Help gone. from a block, and he is gone. That was all Adam Creason, 47-yard touchdown hookup, and Balco Forget on top, 18-6. to six. And I'll tell you what, Dewar had it red. I mean, they had that play scouted and red, and they just overran it as a little throwback pass. And I'll tell you, you want to talk about some serious speed for Creason. He, he runs – 
He carries that 230 pounds pretty well. That was impressive. That's his sixth receiving touchdown of the year. Palco Forgan on top, 18-6, to 4-11 to play in the first half. They'll go for two. Hall to throw. Oh, they, nope. nice. Little, uh, that's the uh, Boise, Boise State play <laughs> from the two-point conversion that won the Fiesta Bowl against OU a few years ago. Well, I don't think they were the first to run it. but <laughs> I remember what pops up in my mind, though. That's the Nathan, one everybody around here remembers. <laughs> Nathan Smith will score. It's 20-6. to six. We'll take a break. 4-11 to play in the first half, and you're watching the Game of the Week on Scortle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day, we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. Jaden Hall to Adam Creason, the 47-yard touchdown reception by the big tight end. And the two-point conversion run. Nathan Smith scores to go up 20-6, to six, capping a three-play 48-yard drive in exactly 60 seconds, one minute. Kick by Conkle. Taken by an F-man on the return. That's Triton Mack. Mack to the far sideline. And he'll be slung out of bounds at the 39-yard line. That was close to being late. I, but you can definitely see the sideline for Balco is into it. And they, they, they brought a great crowd tonight, too, as well. You know, a lot of people don't, you know, it's been a while, but they don't remember the history of Balco football. You know, I'd be remiss being that my, that's my grandfather-in-law who passed. Bobby Kramer had is, is a legend in eight-man football. Um, I believe he won four state championships, was runner-up three or four times, and won about two or three – track championships and in fact i believe the the field there at uh valco is named after him Kramer right. field and uh there's a lot of history with this with this program and obviously forgan had some success too as well so you can't overlook that so now doer trails 20 Ooh, to gone. 6 and that'll cut into it great move on the sideline and to the house goes ty whitlow and he showed some wheels and just like that but doer answers That'll make it 20 to 12. That is a 61 yard touchdown pass from Jamison Ross to Ty Whitlow. For Whitlow, it's his 18th touchdown reception. Well, I'll tell you what, that was impressive. And obviously these athletes, we talked about it all night. We talked about getting the ball to the outside into the edge. And if they make one man miss, you know, eight man works that way. You get to the second level and you have better athletes. Um, it's probably going to end up in six points pretty quick. There's just not that many players back there. This is not going to work. Ross running for his life, throws toward the end zone, wide open, and it will. Wow. Caught by Marshall Bean. That'll make it 20-14. <laughs> to 14. Let's take a break. 3.53 to play in the first half. Balco Forget up six. You're watching the game of the week on Scordo, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, 
bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging, work seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Well, neither team scored until there were eight seconds left in the first quarter, but they're picking up the pace now. There's an onside kick that is covered. Big hit. Yeah, Mason Romju covered it, but then he was airborne and took a shot, but he held on. So Balco Forgan will take over first down and 10. Line of scrimmage is the 46-yard line. A one-play drive. It took 11 seconds. 61-yard touchdown pass from Jamison Ross to Ty Whitlow. And the two-point conversion, Ross to Marshall Bean. That was a big hit there by Cade Henderson. We saw him earlier make a big hit in the backfield. Kid is jacked up, just a sophomore, good-looking athlete. So first down and 10 from the 47-yard line. All from the pistol with Smith behind him. Option, no play action. Going left, one-on-one -on -one coverage overshot his intended receiver trying to find Jordan McGowan incomplete. And that's the one thing you're going to have with this QB run game stuff is these outside receivers are going to be locked up. And I like the play call there, uh, trying to get points back quick after all the momentum. But, you know, I'm probably going to keep the ball in Hall's hand and let him see what he can come up with on the ground. Five of nine passing for Jaden Hall for 113 yards. He'll call his own number up the middle this time, and he busts free to the house. Man. 53 yards. There's your answer for the Bulls. And now we're starting to get about what we kind of thought would happen, and it didn't take very long. I think these two teams are getting just a little bit tired and, you know, slipping – tackles and the athletes are just too good on both sides of the ball it's going to end up in six if you don't make a tackle yeah, Jaden Hall well over 100 yards rushing now 13 carries 146 yards and three rushing touchdowns 26 to 14 the score now and they'll go for two so basically here in the second quarter they've combined for 40 points that first touchdown was scored with eight seconds to play in the first quarter Hall angling right, in for two, 28-14. We'll take a break with 3.33 to play in the first half. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Now, we've had six touchdowns scored now, most of them in the second quarter. Nine plays, five plays, five plays, three plays, one play, and one play for the last two. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. It's like we're watching a tennis match, You're getting the neck going left and right, left and right on a beautiful night for high school oh, football. Gosh, it is it's December. It is December. <laughs> it's about 60 degrees now. I did that Class 3A state championship game. It was 75 at Edmond today. It's wild. Beautiful. And the kick Ooh. takes a high oh, bounce. Now it, it is loose. Picked up at the 17-yard line, and going backwards is Ty Whitlow. Back to the 15, and that is where Dewar will take over. And don't forget, we're going to have uh, Austin Miller and Peyton Mulberry join us um, at halftime and then maybe a little bit in the second half. Those are two members of actually Balco Bison TV that um, are a affiliate partner of the Scordle Network, and – we want to thank Balco Forgan um, for uh, using the Squirtle Network. Um, they've been fun to cover all year. It's been great. We've been able to watch them, even though we haven't been able to cover any of their games, and we're happy to be covering this one. 
Yes, they've been a perennial on the uh, pay dirt pickup, man, yep. on pay dirt itself. And I know recently they joined the Game Time family too, as well. Yes, they did. So got I them mean, on board. They're they got it. They got it figured out over there. Getting the family friendly music <laughs> and the live streaming. And off on first down, that is Marshall Bean. And Marshall Bean on first down will pick up about four to bring up second down and six at the 19-yard line. I can remember that night we had the Pioneer-Garber game, and we were watching that Laverne-Balco uh, game on our on our phones at the same time. It's going to be a face mask. Yep, that's going to be 15 the easy way. Not much on the carry by Bean. Clock is stopped with 3.01 to play in the first half. Balco Forgan now on top, 28 to 14. Five yard face mask, which will be a first down at the 25. So first down and 10 from the 25. Put the clock back in motion under three minutes to play in the first half. Play action. Going deep. Got a man. Caught in stride. That fumbled is it. Thomas fumbled Brown Lowe. He fumbled it late. It's still loose, and Balco Forgan's going to get it back. What a play by Balco. Was it stripped away yeah. by Peyton Conkle? It was stripped away, yes, by no Jordan McGowan. McGowan got the strip, and, and Conkle might have landed on it. He did. And that was just a heck of a play. He gets beat, and what a beautiful pass. So it's a fumble. And Balco will take over on the 18-yard line after the turnover. And Dewar needs to be careful here because this could get out of – I mean, it's not going to get out of their hand because there's a lot of time left, but you don't want to go down three scores in a game like this. Good job. That was a 57-yard pass play before the fumble. And that was big 31 right there for Dewar, Tyler Maldonado. We've called his name a couple of times. No gain on the play. We'll tick down under two minutes to play in the first half. Balco has doubled up Dewar, 28 to 14. From the pistol, wideouts left and right. Tied into the right side, option. And Jordan Hall taken down. Not a whole lot there. No gain on the play for Jaden. A much better job up front by Dewar. They're, the O-line from Balco looks a little tired. they not ready to pack it in for the half, it almost looks like, but... Let this clock tick quite a bit here. So third down and 10 now, the ball at the 18-yard line. Malco Forgan's got to feel pretty darn good about their situation, although it is eight-man football. 14 points is nothing. No, it's really not. And Dewar will get the football to start the third quarter. Third down and 10, and a timeout. Called by Balco Forgan. We'll take a break. 110 to play, 28 to 14. Balco Forgan on top. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle. Brought to you by High Plains Insurance. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst. Third down and 10 for the Bulls. Jaden Hall is sacked. 
back inside the 15-yard line at the 14. Dewar just looked a lot more aggressive, that possession up front. It didn't seem like Valco's had much trouble getting Dewar blocked all night in that possession. They had a lot of trouble. Was that Ashton Hawkins, I believe, with the sack, and they're going to burn a timeout because with 104 to play, they should get decent field position. The loss of four back to the 14-yard line. Let's pay a bill. We'll take a break. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordo, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Our mill daughter actually has a heart defect. And uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12, she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen. Um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're going to find. I'm extremely excited about the All of Us Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definite. Fourth down and 14. And from inside the five-yard line, the punt hanging up there by Jordan McGowan a takes a bounce. really good Balco Forgan bounce and will die at the 49-yard line. But with 51 and a half seconds to play in the first half. That's an eternity. And Dewar's got an opportunity here. Boy, that took a heck of a bounce for Balco. So from the 49-yard line and 52 seconds to play. You know, this is a uh, – they got a lot of neutral sites. I think for eight-man and for small school, this is a great place for a neutral site for – you know, great stadium, good lighting. They redid their field. The turf is in excellent shape. And Enid does a good job. Fantastic uh, school that hosts these events. And really a good place to be when a team from way out west is playing a team yeah. from over east. In case east. you want to stay the night, both of them. Exactly I mean. right. Go down and see that big Christmas tree downtown. Yeah, you bet. First down That's and ten. Hold. And Jamison Ross is going down. There's a five-yard out, four-yard loss back to the 47-yard line. They're going to try to spike it now. Clock is rolling with 32 seconds to play. Second down and 14. They'll spike it incomplete to stop the clock. Now brings up third down and 14. Well, and that's the last thing you want to do, obviously, is take a sack there. But, I mean, he didn't really have a choice. He was getting – there were five guys in his face right at the snap. So 29 seconds to play in the first half. At halftime, we'll go back and tell you how the first half played out, figure up the numbers, check the score to scoreboard. Now quickly in Class C, Timberlake has gone up 28-16 to 16 on Mountain View. Tigers trying to get their first state championship since 2009. Third down and 14. Back to throw. Ross to his left. Running room now. Inside the 40-yard line. Uh, let's see where start. he stepped out of bounds. I don't think the clock ran, did it? Stomp at 20.7 seconds to play, and he stepped out of bounds at the 38-yard line. It's enough for a first down. Oh, there was 30 seconds on the clock to start. The gain of 15 on the carry by Ross. Dewar out of timeouts. First down and 10 in Balco Forgan territory. Keep in mind, Dewar gets the football to start the third quarter. Right side, ball caught, heading toward the sideline. Getting out of bounds is Thomas Brownfield. Brownfield's third catch of the night. Down to the 29-yard line, brings up second down and a short one. I like what Dewar's doing, uh, getting quick yardage and keeping it along the sidelines and picking up chunks and making a throw into the end zone. Uh, reasonable here the last couple of plays. Yeah, the clock stopped with 15 seconds to play. It's second down and one at the 29-yard line. Left side, out pattern caught and to the sideline inside the 20-yard line. Okay, 10 seconds, chipping away, chipping away. Catch by Thomas Brownfield again. 
Good throw and catch. The other thing that the line is doing a much better job, but they're cutting up front, which, you know, is allowed, and um, keeping those big Forgan guys um, out of the face of Jamison Ross. So now first down and 10, 17-yard line, 10 seconds to play. Probably time for two shots to the end zone. There's one toward the zone, incomplete, as he was trying to find Ty Whitlow, who posted up at about the one-yard line. Pretty good coverage. And now with 6.2 seconds to play, they might be able to get two more plays off. Yeah, and Ty Whitlow wanted a pass interference there, but that was not pass interference. That was good coverage. So 6.2 seconds to play. We'll see what kind of clock operator we have to see if the first half runs out <laughs> right here. We'll start the clock on the snap. Second down and 10 from the 17. Ross is sacked. That's gonna That'll end the first half. And that's our that's the man. Coming right up the middle is Adam Creason. Big first half. From Jaden Hall also. 28 to 14, Balco Forgan halfway through this one. Fun first half, fun second quarter. The first quarter, we didn't get any points scored until the final eight seconds of the first quarter. We had a bunch of them. In the second 12 minutes, 28-14, Balco Forgan over Dewar. We'll take a break. Be right back. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordo, presented by High Plains Insurance. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment. We do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options and lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. 
With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular. It's no secret. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12 she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about the All of Us Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definitely a huge step in the right direction that we've been waiting for for a long time. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Halftime at D. Bruce Selby Stadium in Enid. The Balco Forgan Bulls on top of the Dewar Dragons 28 to 14 in our Class B semifinal. Let's go back and recap the scoring in the first half. No scoring until eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Jaden Hall from Balco Forgan scored from 21 yards out. Two point conversion run, no good. Captain Nine plays 79 yard drive in three minutes and one seconds. And eight seconds to play in the quarter. Balco Forgan on top six to nothing. A quick answer for Dewar. Five plays, 59 yards in just 58 seconds. And it was a touchdown pass from Jamison Ross to Thomas Brownfield of 65 yards. Two-point conversion pass, no good. Five plays, 59 yards in 58 seconds. With 11.05 to play in the second quarter, we're tied at six. Balco with an answer. Five plays, 52 yards at a minute, 31. Jaden Hall scored from two yards out. Two-point conversion, no good. 9.31 to play in the second quarter. Balco back on top, 12-6. Then a couple of interceptions and a punt. 
and Balco would jump on top 20 to 6 with 4:11 to play in the second quarter, capping a three-play 48-yard drive in one minute, and it was Jaden Hall finding uh, Adam Creason on a 47-yard touchdown pass. The two-point conversion run by Nathan Smith made it 20 to 6 with 4:11 to play in the second quarter. Dewar with an answer to get it back to 20 to 14. 3:53 to play in the second quarter. A 61-yard touchdown pass from Jamison Ross to Ty Whitlow. The two-point conversion pass was uh, Jamison Ross to Marshall Bean. Made it 20 to 14. Capped a one-play, 61-yard drive. That one play, the touchdown pass. It took 11 seconds. 20 to 14. But on the very next play, Balco answered. 53-yard run by Jaden Hall. Took 17 seconds. Jaden got the two-point conversion run, and that's our score at halftime. 28 to 14, the lead for Balco Forgan. Let's take a look at the numbers in this one. First of all, for Dewar, the Dragons, 22 rushes for 61 yards, leading the way. Jamison Ross, the quarterback, 10 for 32. Uh, Caleb Carter with nine carries for 23 yards. Through the air, Ross is 8 of 16 for 230 yards in the first half. Two touchdowns and one interception. Thomas Brownfield with four catches, including a 65-yard touchdown reception. Ty Whitlow had a couple of catches, including a 61-yard touchdown in the first half. So 38 offensive plays for 291 total yards for Dewar in the first half. For Balco Forgan, 21 carries for 149 yards. Jaden Hall, 16 carries for 142. And leading the way, Nathan Smith, four carries for 15. Through the air, Hall is 5 of 10 for 113 yards. And through one touchdown pass, he threw his first two interceptions of the season in the first half. So 31 offensive plays for 262 yards for Balco Forgan. And on the scoreboard, they lead 28 to 14. We'll take a break and be right back. Get a chance to talk to some of the Bulls who we're kind of taking their place tonight on the Balco Forgan Scordle Network. When we continue, it's the game of the week on Scordle brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Halftime in Enid, Balco Forgan on top of Dewar, 28-14. to 14. And we are broadcast tonight on the uh, BalcoBison.com Scordle Network and get a chance to talk to some guys who would love to be here broadcasting this game. We kind of stole it from you as we bring in our Game of the Week crew. But uh, Austin Bull, you guys have been uh, putting together your Scordal programming and broadcasting a lot of the games. Not all of them, I understand, but you're getting your feet wet and feeling out what's going on. But you have some good previous experience. You're not even from Balco or Forgan. You're coming in from Sharon Mutual because you have some experience with this. Yep. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved at Sharon Mutual and uh, how, you're, how you hooked up with the guys in Balco. All right, so uh, my junior year, we ha every year we have this uh, junior high tournament there in uh, Mutual. And so Mr. Thompson, he's the superintendent there, he was like, hey, Austin Payton, you guys want to call some of the games here and get you out of class? And I was, <laughs> like, I was like, let's do it. And so me and Payton ended up doing it. And then, you know, a bunch of people started coming. Hey, you guys are good at this. You guys should keep doing it. And uh, 
But Peyton, he didn't keep doing it but because he was usually playing the sports, yeah, like basketball. Uh-huh. And so I kind of started calling the games with Mr. Thompson, and then I kind of started growing a love for it. And then I was like, you know what, I kind of like doing this. So, And then we didn't do the first three games for Balco Forgan. Uh, or, no, I think it was the first two. Yeah. And uh, um, so Terry comes up and was like, you want to call some of the games? And I was like, sure. I mean, I used to do it for Classic Com, so, I mean, why not? Yeah. And now, where are you going to school at? Um, Oklahoma Panhandle okay, State you're a pa- So you're not too far from Balco no, then. No, you're definitely. in Goodwell. You're in Goodwell. So great experience. Tell me about what it's been like to kind of get them started with their Squirtle Station. Oh, my goodness. It's just been – an amazing experience. I mean, this is one of the most special teams that I've ever seen. So yeah. just being able to, you know, broadcast them and just, you know, just be able to watch them from one of the, you know, best seats in the house, yeah. you know, it's just been an amazing, amazing, you know, experience. So I've been doing this broadcast thing now for about 35 years or so. And back when I was in high school, I would have killed to have had the, the Scordal opportunity. We heck, they barely had video cameras back then. <laughs> but uh, I would have killed to have that experience. Now I see what, what you guys can do. And, uh, you know, and every school could have something like this. You know, Scordal's growing up, blowing up all over the state. But talk a little bit about the experience that you have gotten. And I'll tell you this, what you're doing right now, that's what you would do if you were working for a TV station. There's really no difference because I've done it, so. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you want to do in your future. Is that something you're doing at Panhandle right now is the video stuff? I mean, what I'm doing at Panhandle, I actually want to be a teacher coach. There you go. I mean, I've been inspired by so many teacher coaches. I mean, it's just I just want to make an impact in kids' life, how coaches have made an impact in mine. But, you know, I would for sure, you know, if, you know, the teaching didn't go as I want it to, you know, I would definitely – want to have a job like this no doubt I mean just being around the sport and being able to talk about it because I do enjoy to talk all the people yeah. from share mutual know who know <laughs> me you know I can I can talk for sure and so this is definitely you know a job that I would love to have they'll take it from a communications major there's probably better money in teaching <laughs> but uh, and I like your last name too Austin Bull I mean yeah. it's like you think you grew up and well you grew up with their Balco is the bison and then the Bulldogs up in Forgan, so they mm-hmm. kind of went with the uh, – kind of split the difference and go with the Bulls. I love yeah. it. That's a pretty cool thing to do. And and, it, and, and that's and that was my mom's maiden name, you know, we're Cheyenne. I mean, we're, uh-huh. we're Native Americans. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and my last name is originally Miller, but there's only like two Bulls left in my family, and so I wanted to keep the bloodline strong. You betcha. And so I was like – as soon as I graduate, that's what I, I want my last name to be is Austin Bull. I like Bull, and I like the fact that this Balco Forgan team is about, uh, well, 24 minutes away from taking the Bulls to the state championship game. They can keep it going. We'll see what happens. All right. Austin Bull, thank you so much, and uh, we wish you guys the best of luck as we got the second half coming up. We'll take a break and be right back. 28-14, to 14, Balco Forgan leads Dewar, and you're watching the Game of the Week on Scordal, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. Halftime at D. Bruce Selby Stadium in Enid. Balco Forgan leading Dewar 28-14. to We talked to Austin Bull, who is a freshman from Sharon Mutual, who helps out with the Balco Forgan Scordal programming. And now 
Peyton Mulberry steps in. Peyton's also a freshman at Panhandle State, but he actually went to school at uh, Balco. You went to Balco, right? Yes, sir. Of the two, went to school at Balco, and and you have kind of taken ex- the advantage of this experience to become a broadcaster. And you're having fun, you're having fun with it, I assume. Yes, I am. I, I love it. I love I love doing it every time. I love watching this team play. I played on it last year, and I I enjoy it every, every time watching them. And that's what's great because you played with these guys, so you can bring some insight that the rest of us don't have. You've been there and done that yes, with them. I mean. Jaden Hall, he's improved every year, and it's like we've talked about him all year, but all the other players yeah. like Nathan Smith and yeah. Peyton Conkle, they've all done an amazing job this year. Now tell me this. Is this the second year of the co-op with Forgan and Balco, or has it been more than two years? I think this is the third year. So the third year because you went 8-6 and six a year ago, 12-1 and one this year, but before that the numbers issues and like one win a season, I think you were 1-8 and eight or something like that. Yes. That's been an issue for a while. So really how tough is it? to get the Forgan guys, who you've been rivals with all these years, and now you're on the same team. Yes, it, I mean, it took a while just to get us together, but once we did, I think we clicked really nice. And, 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 okay, so what's it like now? Because basketball season will start in a couple of weeks, and you're going to play each other again. You go from being teammates to being rivals yes. in the basketball court. That's well, interesting. It's we're, we're pretty competitive in everything we do, especially in practice. They yeah. Both, both um, schools go at it a little bit, but – we all, we all have a good time. I want to talk about a little second about what you want to do with your future. Have you thought about it much? Well, I kind of want to be a sports broadcaster. I thought yeah, about it a little bit. Yeah. I want to be a coach, head coach for football, basketball, whatever I can get into. Does Panhandle have any opportunities for you to do any radio TV stuff? I don't, I don't know if they do right now. I need to look into it if they do, but I would really love if they do that. I made the comment to Austin. I, I've been doing this for 35 years. I would have killed when I was in high school. I had to wait until I got to college before I could do anything like that because right. we barely had video cameras back <laughs> then when I was young. But uh, the experience you get doing this, and I'll tell you the same thing I told him, this is exactly what you'd be doing if you had a real job in the real world We're getting paid for it. There's not a whole lot of difference. Matter of fact, your job is tougher because one or two cameras have to catch everything yes. at the higher level. Well, you've got five cameras. Somebody can drop something. You're okay. But uh, so just keep doing what you're doing, man. And we apologize for not giving you the chance to broadcast this oh. game as the Scordo oh. game of the week crew came in and took it away from you. No, but, pro- uh, no problem. We're kind of having fun on the sidelines, cheering our, cheering our guys on. Yeah, go be a fan. We'll see what happens. 28 to 14. Balco Forgan leads Doer. We'll take a break. Our second half is just around the corner. It's the game of the week on Scordo, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Thanks, man. At Maples Nixon and Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon and Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorse, back with you in Enid. Class B, state semifinal action. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 28-14. And before the second half gets underway, let's check the Scordal scoreboard. Yeah, some pretty big games going on across the state. If you're playing in December, you're playing in a pretty big game. The other Class B semifinal out in Woodward tonight. Laverne pulling away from Shattuck 36-6. Three minutes to play in the third quarter. So the winner of that game will take on the winner of this game next week for the Class B State Championship. Class C State Championship being contested tonight in Weatherford. Timberlake leading Mountain View Bow at the half, 36-22. Halftime, Cash and Paw Huska in Class A. This is a semifinal matchup. Cash and leading 20-18. Marlowe leads Ufala 21-10. That's a semifinal matchup. And then in Class A also, Ringling over Morrison, 7-0 in the third quarter. Uh, Tuttle and Clinton state championship game in class 4A down in Edmond. Wow. Clinton shutting, whoa, Clinton whoa. shutting out Tuttle <laughs> 21 to nothing at the half. 
Washington, number one in Class 2A, leading Beggs in a semifinal 14-6. to Earlier this afternoon, I called this game on the radio. Holland Hall beat Lincoln Christian in 3A for the state championship 24-16. And last night, 6A2 Bixby rolls. State record for the longest winning streak in, sco- in state history as they knock off Deer Creek 63 63- 214. We'll just get ready for the second half here in under 20 seconds. We'll roll off the clock. And we're not and we're not biased at all for Washington, Cashin, Morrison, uh, Balco the, Forgan. The Scordal schools. Yeah. I mean, to name a few. We may have some interest in how well they do. We of course want all schools around the state to do well. Uh, we we are supporters of all high school athletes and all high school communities across the state. But we, we might just be cheering a little <laughs> bit more for some of those Squirtle schools. And if you aren't a Squirtle school out there and you'd like to be one, um, give me a call or just email me at adam at squirtle.com. We'd love to have any of you schools out there join our network. I, I'm not going to say what T-shirt I'm wearing under my pullover <laughs> here. I just don't think I, I, saw I, ought, to, that I just don't think you ought to talk about it. But it has nothing to do with this game. No, That's it the doesn't. key thing. The other eight-man game, right? Exactly right. I don't think there's many people from Mountain View probably watching. So So we go to the second half, and it will be Dewar football. The kick as we are underway. Peyton Conkle puts a toe into it. Return from the 22-yard line and across the 30 out to the 34 on the return is Caleb Carter. And, boy, what does Dewar need to do? They need to score on this opening drive. They can really change the momentum in this ballgame down by 14. Yeah, and this is going to be a huge possession coming straight out of the gate here, down two scores for Dewar. And, you know, really, honestly, Dewar's just kind of shot themselves in the foot. Most of the times they've looked pretty good on the offensive end. They had those two short fields where they didn't get anything in the first half. Um, you know, be patient, don't make mistakes, and uh, try to get you a score here. Dewar with 291 total yards in that first half, 230 through the air, 61 on the ground. There's a pass in the first play of the third quarter. Good tackle. Now oh, you're on the near side. He it. stepped out of the tackle. The pass was caught by Ty Whitlow, and Whitlow will gain less than a yard after all that. And bring up second down and a long nine. Whitlow's third catch of the ball game. He caught a 61-yard touchdown pass in the first half. So second down, a long nine. Back to throw this time is Ross. Across oh, the middle into traffic, Ooh. there were three. White jerseys in the area, and the pass is incomplete. As it was intended for Thomas Brownfield, that's his favorite target. Now it'll be third down in a long nine. And that was a good ball there, too, but threw in a triple coverage. Just good coverage there that time, and ball knocked away. Brownfield made a play on it. So defensively, Balco Forget on third down and almost 10. They get a three and out here to start the second half, and The momentum switch, or this momentum will stay with Balco Forgan. There's running room for the quarterback, Jamison Ross. He will not get the first down. He'll get across the 40-yard line to the 41, picking up about six, and give him seven. And that will bring up fourth down and three. So what do you do here? Watch him go no play here. Hard count, see if they can get him to jump off sides. If not, watch the inside receiver, seven on a, on a pass out here in the flats. Big play in the ball game, fourth down and three. Got him. Ball is caught, first down, the 45-yard line. Making the catch is Ty Whitlow. And he was just beat that time by alignment. They were playing inside, taking away the inside route, and great play call by the offense down there for Dewar. Whitlow's fourth catch of the night. First down and 10 at the 45-yard oh, wow. line. Now trying to find some running room is Marshall Bean, maybe a yard or two to the 47. Jaden Hall that time literally almost tackled the quarterback and the running back at the same time. Take it back. That was actually Caleb Carter on the carry for a gain of two. We saw Carter miss playing the last two or three possessions of the, of the second quarter. I wonder if he wasn't a little banged up. Well, at one point, he got the wind knocked out of him or something, but he came back after that for a little bit. But you're right, he didn't finish the first half. Out in the near flat, there's Whitlow with the catch to the midfield stripe, and he'll step out of bounds right there, picking up three. And I think if you're Balco, the coaches need to to let um, Peyton Conkle know he is beat by alignment every time to the edge, and Dewar is doing a good job attacking the outside with number seven, Ty Whitlow. 
Third down and a long four here. Two minutes into the third quarter, 28 to 14, Balco Forgan leads, but Dewar looking to get the ball into Bulls territory. Give it off to Carter, got up him. the middle. He's got near a first down. He falls across the 45. That should be a first down. They'll mark him inside the 45-yard line. And this is a good drive here for Dewar. Carter now with 11 carries, 30 yards rushing. Ooh, quarterback that Here's time. your quarterback, Ross, right side for a couple as he was tripped up by Jordan McGowan. Give him a gain of three to bring up second down and seven. The ball resting at the 42. It's good to see Jamison Ross pull at that time because Jaden Hall has had that had the running back's number on that inside zone play all night long. Here comes the ninth play of the drive. Rolling right is Ross. Throws back across the field. Nice it's throw. caught to the 10 and pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Rolling right, looking for the receiver back on the far side of the field. And that was reeled in by Thomas Brownfield. Man, and you know, that's just backyard football right there. The play was broken down. Heck of a throw, throwing the ball all the way across the field. So a gain of 36 down to the six-yard line. Now down to the five on the short carry. That's Carter. Second down and goal. Dewar trailing by 14, second down and goal from the five. This is the first drive of the second half. They've taken the opening kickoff and marched down the field. Quarterback fumbled the ball. Ross tries to get to the edge toward the pylon. He's pushed out of bounds at the one. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, Tom, but he was that was the pass route the whole way, but he bobbled the snap and kind of lost it up in the air. and Which blew up the play. Yeah, it's a good decision by Jamison to get some yardage out of nothing. They're going to give him three yards down to the two. Third down and goal from the two-yard line. Carter to the right of the quarterback, Ross. Hand off to Carter, Got diving it. toward the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Dragons, to make it 28-20. to And that was just a great drive by the defending state champions right there. I mean, that was a – all a, you could tell, halftime talk from Coach Bean and let's let's get this ball and let's go down and score and make this thing a game, put some pressure back on Balco. 12-play drive, took three and a half minutes, makes it a one-possession game again as Carter scores from two yards out. He'll go for two, play action. Back right corner of the end Goodness. zone, wide open. There's the two-point conversion to make it 28-22. to They're going to call roughing the passer too, I believe. Caught by Ty Whitlow. We'll take a break. 8.28 to play in the third quarter. 28-20, Balco Forgan. Actually, 28-22. It's a six-point game, and you're watching the Game of the Week on Scordal, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. 12th play drive covered 66 yards. It took 3 minutes and 26 seconds off the clock. And the 2-yard touchdown run by Kalen Carter for Dewar. The 2-point conversion from Ross to Whitlow. And that makes it 28-22, 8-28 to play. 12 plays, 66 yards, and 326. And after the penalty, there was a roughing the passer penalty. Dewar's going to kick off from the uh, Balco Forgan 45 yard line. The onside kick is covered by the Bulls, and they'll take over at their 39. Looks like we got a player hurt. 
for Dewar, too. Well, this has been a very physical football game. Well, it looks like Triton Mack maybe is down. So it's a six-point game. Mack is popped back up. It will help be helped over to the near sideline. Triton Mack, a junior. That first half, Balco Forgan, 262 total yards, 149 on the ground, 113 through the air. But Jaden Hall threw his first two interceptions of the season. He came in, 32 touchdowns, no picks. So first and 10, the line of scrimmage is the 39-yard line with 8.25 to play third quarter. Wideouts left and right, a tight end to the left side on first down. It's the give Ooh, to man. Jaden Ross, and he almost slipped that tackle, that ankle tackle, and would have had some pretty serious yardage. As it is, he'll pick up four. And that was Ashton Hawkins from Dewar. Man, he made a – that could have been a six-point saving tackle there. Gain of three yards out of the 42. Jaden Hall, 17 carries, 145 yards rushing. And that time, a short gain. That's 26, Kate Henderson again. Nathan Smith with the carry. They're doing a good job with Henderson. I mean, he's crashing hard anytime they go, they run counter, and it just blows the play up in the backfield. I, I, would, be, I would venture to say that Hall needs to hit the hole quicker. He's waiting too long, and – that's what allow, is allowing Henderson to get there. So third down and seven now. Hall, play action. Floating right. Floats one from the midfield stripe. It's incomplete. He tried to find Nathan Smith. Nathan didn't have a shot as he flipped it over his head. Incomplete. So now it's fourth down and seven. This will definitely be a punt here for Balco. Dewar's going to get the football back down six. They have never led in this game. Good punt. It's going to bounce back towards us, though. Very nice nope. punt by McGowan. That's wrong. And it'll be downed at the 25. Now mark it at the 26. So Dewar will take over. They get the three and out that they need it. And the Dragons, first down and 10. The line of scrimmage is the 26-yard line. This drive will start with 7.08 to play in the third quarter. So Balco Forgan only ran about a minute and 15 seconds off the clock. You know, in credit to Dewar, they are definitely the aggressor so far in the second half. Had a little bit more of a pep in their step. On first down, Carter for a couple. Kalen Carter, his 14th carry of the ball game for two yards. He had the touchdown run just moments ago. Out to the 28-yard line, second down and eight. Ross will hand off to Carter again, and he'll just pull the pile and get near the first down yardage. They're going to give him the first down by a yard. That's a really nice run by Kalen Carter. Gain from the 28-yard line out to the 37, give him nine. And that is his longest run of the night. First down, let's try him again. Nothing doing this time, no gain. Clock will roll down under six minutes to play in the third quarter. Dewar with the only points of the second half to crawl back to within six at 28 to 22. Second down and 10. Look to the near sideline. Check with me, six minutes to play in the third. Option pitch to the near side. Ooh, good block. Running room for Carter, bus free, 40. And down to the 35 yard line as he was chased down and tackled by Jaden Hall. Hall ran him down, but not until he got the big gain. Dewar just looks like a different team the second half offensively, just much more sound. They looked that way the first couple possessions and then kind of lost it a little bit. That was a 28-yard run by Kalem Carter. And on first down and 10, nothing doing on that one. 
Yeah, it's Carter for no gain. And I like how they went to the tempo, too. I like the speeding it up, keep it going, keep calling the plays, get them in quick, keep the pressure on Valco's defense and that four-man front. Second and ten from the 35. Dewar looking for the equalizer. Ross, ball caught at the 30-yard nope. line Dropped. this time. Did he drop it? Yep, he did. Thomas Brownfield couldn't reel it in, so it's now third down and 10. I'll be honest with you, it's a, a Jameson Ross has got a great arm on him. I mean, he and he always throws. seems like he's kind of throwing off his back foot yeah. or rolling to, a, rolling to his right. We saw him throw that long pass, rolling to his right back across his body, clear across the field on that last drive. You know, that's becoming more the norm, the, you know, these, those type of throwing quarterbacks. Third down and 10. That ball is caught. That's a nice catch as Ty Whitlow had to go down low and make sure that one didn't touch the turf. Down to the 30-yard line, picking up five. And I like what Dewar's doing. You know, don't try to get it all in one big chunk and make it manageable fourth down. So what, fourth and six now here, I believe. Whitlow has six catches in the ball game. Fourth down and six. The 31-yard line, they've got to get inside the 25 to move the chains. Watch him go no play here. Yep. Good timeout. They'll burn the timeout. We'll take a break. 426 to play in the third quarter. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 28 to 22. Game of the week continues after this. It's brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Laverne is killing Shattuck. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. Four twenty-six to play in the third quarter. Here comes a big fourth and six for Dewar at the Valco Forgan 31-yard line, trailing 28-22. to Dewar has all the momentum here in the second half. Let's see if they can keep it rolling here. Ross to throw. That's a hold. Across the middle. Ball is tipped away, incomplete. There is a flag on the play, and if it's a hold, they'll decline it. Yeah, they'll decline it. And Valco Forgan will take over. going to be 42 as it was held. Pass deflected away down inside the five-yard line by Jordan McGowan. So Dewar's drive comes to an end. And Balco Forgan will take over at the 31-yard line. Third quarter clock stands at four minutes and 20 seconds to play. Balco Forgan with the ball and a six-point lead. Going from west to east, from right to left. Hall will pitch right side to the edge. Goes Nathan Smith and some running room out near the first down stick. Now that's a good job. Good play call by Balco. They are definitely keen on Hall now. And so try to get the edge because they got kind of everybody packed in there to take Hall out of the game. Give Nathan Smith nine yards to bring up second down and a short one. He'll it pitch again. it to him again the other way. First down to the 45-yard line. And Dewar's going to have to make an adjustment. They're creeping in one of those other linebackers to, you know, make up for the fact that Jaden Hall is such a threat at tailback. And I like the play call here by Balco. Just keep attacking the edge. So back-to-back -back carries by Nathan Smith lead to the first down. And then that happens. Fake the give to Smith. There's Hall around the right side. Flag comes in late. As Hall will take it out across midfield and into Dewar territory. Out of bounds at about the 43, but this one's coming back. I don't think they like that call either, obviously. I don't think any, any coach doesn't like a holding <laughs> call. but I'm going to mark it off from the end of the run, so 
What was first and ten will now be first, first and, and about a left first and ten again, basically. <laughs> yeah, so it, it is a ten yard gain for Hall. It was just right at the marker. Yep. So it's first down and ten again. Three thirty-five to play in the third quarter. Bulls need something here. They're up by six. They could love to get it back up to a two-possession lead. They've never trailed in this ball game. Ooh, didn't get it. Hall blown up, going backwards. Leading the way, Dewar Tyler Maldonado had a pretty good game. Helped out by some teammates, a loss of two. Back to the 44-yard line. Second down and 12. Class A, Paul Huska now leads cash in 21 to 20. Great ball game tonight. Is that in Ponca City, I believe? Yes, yep. it is. Oh, big run. Right side hall. Oh, goodness. Bus into the secondary and down to the 35-yard line. Man, when he gets going, it is just like – because, I mean, there were a couple guys there to tackle, almost like springing off of people. And, man, he's a dynamic athlete. 21-yard gain. First down and 10 at the 35. Balco Forgan is moving in Dewar territory. Hand off to Nathan Smith, and he's pushed back. Jaden Maxwell with the stop after a gain of two. Making it manageable. I mean, you know, Balco's sticking with their guns, and I like it. You know, neither team has really honestly thrown the ball overly well, especially Balco. They have not seen a lot of success throwing the ball except for a couple of long passes. The other Class B semifinal, Laverne leading Shattuck 42-12 in the fourth quarter. Second down and eight from the 33. And I like that little speed option play, but they're not going to go with it here with the way he's lined up. They're going to throw it out here in the flats. Smith has it, makes a man miss inside the 30-yard line, down to the 28, picking up five. And I like that quick stuff that they can get to the edge just because they're having to keep so many people in the box to account for Hall. So it's third down and three now. Pistol formation. Little option pitch right side. There's Smith. First down, down to the 21. They'll mark him at the 20. Gain of eight. Just managing the ball down the field. Nothing big, just working it. Gain of eight. Managing that clock as well. Now a minute 20 to play in the third quarter. This time it's Hall to the 15, down to the 13-yard line. As he was tackled from behind. And on the stop for Dewar, that's Ashton Hawkins, Jr. So I give Thomas Brownlow a lot of credit, but, man, he needs to stop trying to tackle uh, Hall up, up high. He's not having a whole lot of luck with it. Ends up being about – drags him about five extra yards every time. Seven-yard gain brings up second down and three. Good timeout. Good timeout by Coach Bean. One ten to play in the third quarter. 28-22, Balco Forgan by six, and you're watching the game of the week on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. Second down and three after the timeout for Balco Forgan trying to punch one in right here. Just 
Try to extend that six-point lead. Little speed option pitch right side. Nathan Smith tried to turn the corner and it was not a great pitch as Smith had to hesitate for just a moment and that allowed the defense a chance to catch up and really no gain on the pitch to Smith. And this is a situation, if I'm Balco, it's going to Hall twice, two times. You got two downs to get about three yards. Yep. He spins off a tackle, gets the first down. Inside the 10-yard line, down to the eight, he picks up five. You've got him for 186 yards rushing on 22 carries. The quarterback who has been so dynamic came in tonight with 1,845 yards. So he's over 2,000 yards rushing on the season now with 186 tonight. He wants it. Touchdown. Nope. He got him on Strung the out well. That Great was... defensive play by Thomas Brownfield to corral him. Yeah, I was way off because it looked like he was gone and Brown, Brownfield came from out of nowhere. Proved me wrong. He said, I can tackle him up high. Gain of one. Second down and goal at the six. Now nah, they're going to say no gain. Now nah, gain of one to the seven. That's what it is. So second down and goal from the seven-yard line. And Hall went out of bounds. That stopped the clock with 17 and a half seconds to play in the third quarter. And this is a huge, huge possession here. Pitch right side. Throw, no, it. He throw it toward the end zone. Nice play. Touchdown pass. They're gonna, yep, they're going to give it to him. Nathan Smith, that's his 10th completion of the season. Heck of a play call. Who reeled that in? It was number eight. Jordan, Jordan McGowan. For McGowan, it's his third catch of the night. That is his 22nd touchdown reception. Nathan Smith's fourth touchdown pass of the year. Yeah, I love the play call. From seven yards out. They'll go for two. They're up 34 to 22. Like that play call, too. Flags flies. Jaden Hall gets near the end zone. They say he didn't get in. I think it's going to be a legal procedure anyway. Well, 10 seconds to play in the third quarter. 34-22. The lead is 12 for Balco Forgan. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the Game of the Week on Squirtle. Brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12, she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about the All of Us Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definitely a huge step in the right direction that we've been waiting for for a long time. Jordan McGowan with his 22nd touchdown reception of the season, Nathan Smith. And I will tell you something, Adam Dieselhorst, that play looked to me like it took too long to develop the little pitch to Smith, and Smith just jumped up and found Jordan McGowan back right corner of the end zone, just like they drew it up. <laughs> I knew there was something strange because the you know, Hall didn't really get as aggressive with yeah. his motion to the pitch and then saw the corner come up, and, man, great play. Capped a 12-play, 71-yard drive. It took four minutes and nine seconds off the clock. A big answer by Balco. 34-22. Final 11 seconds of the third quarter. Squib kick taken on the bounce from the 30-yard line on the return. Ty Whitlow looking for some room. Stays on his feet. Block in the back. Yeah, flags are flying. That's what happens on a play on a kickoff return like that. The longer you keep it alive... 
more likely something like that's going to happen. There's actually two of those. So I don't know how they're going to measure this off. There's a one second remaining in the third quarter. So the discussion goes on at the 33-yard line. So now Dewar down by two touchdowns, 12 points. Final play of the third quarter upcoming. This becomes a big drive for them. This ball game has played out pretty much exactly like, well, since the uh, end of the first quarter, it's played out pretty much exactly like we thought it would. We were scoreless until the final eight seconds of the first quarter. I'll mark it back to the 15-yard line. That is where the drive will start for Dewar. So one of them has declined and he's accepted the other one, so. So Jamison Ross leads them out. One final play here in the third quarter before we go to the fourth. Too wide to the near side. Throw it out in the flat right side. Ball Good caught. Tackle. That is Ty Whitlow, and he's corralled after basically no gain. And that is the end of the third quarter. We go to the fourth. Balco Forgan 34, Dewar 22, and you're watching the game of the week on Scordle brought to you by High Plains Insurance. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. We go to the fourth quarter. Final 12 minutes of the season for one of these very good football teams. It's second down and about 10. First play of the third quarter going deep and that is incomplete. The receiver fell down. Ty Whitlow he thought he was interfered with. So now it will be third down and almost 10. I love the aggressive play call coming out of the end of the quarter. Ringling has taken the lead on Morrison 13 to 6 with 8 to go in the ball game. Clinton all over Tuttle. That's amazing. In the 4A state championship game 35 to nothing. Golly. How about the Red Tornadoes? Are they back? They might be. <laughs> Must be. We got to get a gold ball so I guess they're back. Yeah. That's a time out. Dewar didn't like what they were seeing. A third down and nine. We'll take a break. 11.53 to play in the ball game. 34-22, Balco Forgood. It's the game of the week on Scordo. Brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. Al Dewar coming out of the timeout looking at third down and nine. Dewar is out of timeouts now. Or they have one left, right? Well, they've gotten zero on the scoreboard. Man, that's surprising. That may come back to haunt them in a two-score game. Third down and nine. Ross looking. And pass is caught. That's a first down. Left side reeled in by Ty Whitlow. And Ty Whitlow has been big in the second half. Now to the 28-yard line, a gain of 13. A 
Whitlow, that's his eighth catch of the night. First down and 10, 28-yard line. Hand off up the middle this time. That's Carter. Oh, Boy, Carter took a shot at the 25-yard line. That was Jordan McGowan just lowered a shoulder and made him pay. And none the worse for wear. For Caleb Carter, gain of seven, brings up second down and three. Well, we know for sure that Laverne will be in the final. Familiar foe, right? It's either one exactly of these teams. Exactly right, yep. Second down and three, handoff up the middle. First down yardage across the 40-yard line to the 42. So first down. Out of the near side comes Ross, and Ross will run out of bounds. Out across the 45-yard line to the 47, gaining six to bring up second down and four. I'm very impressed with Dewar out of the half on offense. They just, the flow is so much better than the first half, I feel like. And off to Ross up the middle. That's Bean. I'll take it back. That yeah, is Marshall Bean to the 50-yard line, which will bring up fourth down and about a yard and a half. Is it third down or fourth down? Yeah, third down. They had fourth up there for mm -hmm. a moment, yeah. Bean so again. on third and two, it's Bean again. And I'll tell you what, second effort gets him the first down down to the 45. Uh, Balco is just a lot of stalemating up front, you know, not – not the same kind of penetration they had in the first half, and Dewar is doing a much better job running the football. So Dewar has the ball in Balco Forgan territory at the 45-yard line. Ross this time pass caught right side, and it's Jaden Hall who tracks down Ty Whitlow and tackles him after the short gain. Man, that was an impressive play by Jaden Hall. To the 44-yard line, picking up just one. And that's a play we saw earlier where a tackle was missed and he went 60 or 70 yards for a touchdown. Under 10 to play in the ball game. Balco Forgan still leads by 12. Still plenty of time. Drewer with the football can score here and get back within one possession. This time it's the quarterback, Ross, near side, 40-yard line, 35, and pushed out of bounds by Mason Romju. Out of bounds to the 31. He'll gain 13. First down and 10. And there's Carter, who was cut down inside the 30-yard line at the 28. Gaining three, second down and seven. Keep an eye on that clock now. Nine minutes and 20 seconds to play. You know, these teams are used to just running their offense and getting just big, big, big chunks, but these two teams are too good defensively. They're making stops at three and four yards. Have and to show patience and, and just yeah. keep it going. Ooh, this isn't good. Good job by Ross. To the right goes Ross. Throws toward the end zone. The ball, he did get a dropped. foot down. He dropped it. He was worried too much about getting his foot down and dropped it. Uh, one thing that Balco needs to be careful with is they need to continue to cover in the secondary because Ross has hurt them a couple times when he's you know, busted out. And those receivers from Dewar do a good job of staying on the routes. And it was Ty Whitlow who tried to get a foot down. So it's now second, third down and seven. Let's check that Class C score real quick. 42 to 30, Mountain View leads. Mountain View leads over Timberlake? I'm sorry, Timberlake, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's a big comeback. Fourth quarter. Third and seven, Dewar, two down territory to move the chains. Ross chased left side. That's going to be a hold, yep. He runs out of bounds the 25-yard line, but you're exactly right. What sprung him was a hold. It was Bean that held that time, and that's what happens a lot of times when these running backs bounce around. It, you know, Bean had him blocked, but you got to let go once you know he gets by, and, and Freeman was held. So the marking off from the from – the Ooh, they're going to mark it off from the 33 back to the 43-yard line. Big penalty. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
Hey, I finally get to say it. It's going to be third down in Drummond. <laughs> well, I guess you got to go the other direction. So what, Covington? Third in Covington? Or uh, uh, what's Fairmont? Fairmont. Could Fairmont. be Fairmont, yeah. yeah. Third down in a bunch. Third and <laughs> 22. You just get half of it. Ooh, screen. This is going to be big. In the hands of Carter, 35-30. 25-20, heading to the end zone. No flags, touchdown, Dewar. Great play call. Great play call by Dewar. 43-yard screen pass to the house. And you just knew it right away. I mean, it was just a great play call by Dewar. That is Carter's first catch of the night. 34-28, 8.40 to play, folks. We are going to go down to the wire in Enid tonight. Winner takes on Laverne, it looks like, for the state championship next week. Timberlake scores again, 48-30. For two. Nope. Carter wants to throw it and had the ball stripped away, and they'll blow it dead. We'll take a break. 8.40 to play in the ball game. Balco Forgan leads Dewar 34-28. to It's the game of the week on Scordle. Brought to you up. There's a flag. Flag on the play. Let's stay here. I don't know what the flag is going to be, but it looks like they're going to do a retry here. Yeah, half the distance and give Dewar another opportunity here from the two. It was a personal foul against Balco Forgan. So they'll move it to the two-yard line and give them another opportunity. It's a six-point game. Nope, fumble. Ross DeCarter, ball is loose. And diving on it for Balco Forgan is Caden Del Torre, and that'll be the end of the try. And that's a big stop for, for Balco. 8.40 to play in the fourth quarter. Balco Forgan leads 34-28 to over Dewar. We'll take a break. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. A perfectly executed 43-yard screen pass from Jamison Ross to Caleb Carter. It's now 34-28, to 8.40 to play in the ball game. Plenty of time, and Dewar will tee it up at the 40-yard line. They don't have to go onside here. They can get a defensive stop. And we'll see what they do here. <laughs> Are they fake Caden out? Faking out the camera, guys. There's the onside kick. It's covered. Oh, goodness, where's he going? And on the return is Chisholm Freeman, a junior. Just dive on that, son. Yeah. And don't go sideways on an onside. You already got good field position, right? So first down and 10. Balco will have it just shy of midfield. They'll mark it at the 48-yard line. And now you look at that clock, 8.33 to play in the ball game. This is a... Big, big. Semifinal yep. winning drive yep. Yep. for Balco Forgan right here. And if you're the defending state champion, Dewar, you got to get a stop. Hall keeps it on the speed option. He'll get across midfield and down to the 46. He'll pick up six right there. And if give I, him seven to the 45. And if I'm Balco, it stays in his hands, number one. Let the meal ticket take you to the state championship game. Second down and three. 
There's 24 seconds on that play clock. I would just stand there for a while. Let that thing tick, 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 That's tick down. going to be a false start, yeah. Oh, move them back five. You can't do that. What are they doing? That was very ill-advised. Yeah, second down and three will turn into second down and eight. They'll put that clock back in motion. Now 20 seconds on the play clock. And um, Falco know, Forgan has nothing but time right now. Yeah, and I don't mind them running clock and everything like that, but, you know, don't do it in a situation where you just run eight yards. You know, get up to the line of scrimmage, run your play, you know. Uh, it was kind of silly in my opinion, but maybe that's why I'm sitting in the booth and not coaching. There goes Hall. Tackled from behind as Ashton Hawkins. That's going to be a first down, I think. At the 42-yard line, it'll be close. Yep, it is a first down, a gain of eight. Now you let that clock run. That's the 25th carry of the ball game for Jaden Hall. He's up over 200 yards rushing now. I've got him at 202 on 25 carries. Over 2,000 yards rushing on the season. So basically, over 2,000 yards passing and 2,000 yards rushing. That's quite a year. First down and 10. Hall up under center this time. Counter, yep. Around the left side, he's upended. That was 31 there. Maldonado, man, he has been big. We called his name a lot tonight at the game of three. He has been big, and he stayed home too. And that time, you know, Nathan Smith, he had the duty of trying to block Maldonado and didn't go too well for him. So the gain of three brings up second down and seven at the 39. 6.44 to play. This could be a decisive drive right here. Jaden Hall for a few. Man, he's yeah. just so tough to bring down. It looked like he had nothing there and still got four or five yards, maybe three yards. That tackle that time was Jaden Maxwell. He'll pick up a couple, third down and five at the 37. Got All him. to throw, wide open, first down, the ball caught. That's Jordan McGowan with the big catch down to the 30-yard line, picking up seven and moving the chains. That's a good play call there, too. McGowan's fourth catch. First down and 10 at the 30. They can run another couple of minutes off the clock, too. Here comes the sixth play of the drive. Started back at the 48-yard line on the other side of the midfield stripe. That's what they like to run that QB stretch. Up under center. Oh, there you go, going right way. this time. Down to the 26 to pick up four. And this will take the clock under five minutes to play in the ball game. Malco Forgan looking to get back to the state championship game. Been a long time coming, as you were talking about the history of the program back in the first half. Second down and six. Got to throw pump fake. Left side. Oh, nice defensive play. And tipping it away is Carter. Boy, that was a big stop there. That was great defense by Dewar on the edge. Yeah, Carter with the deflection, the pass intended for McGowan. Now third down and six. Ball resting at the 26-yard line. Clock stop, 4.51 to play. Counter. Oh. Hall he was barely slipped. Slipped and fell forward. He'll pick up a yard, but now you've got fourth down and about five. Oh, it's just the play fourth of the and game. Fourth and six. Obviously. He'll say no gain, so it's a be fourth and six. And if I'm Balco, I probably call a timeout here. Let the clock run down and call a timeout. But 
You got three of them. You can't take them with you, you know. Yeah, it's fourth down and a long five. The ball resting at the 25-yard line. They've got to get inside the 20. And they can run this clock down to right about the four-minute mark. And you're right. It might be a good idea to call a timeout when you get down to about one second. Fourth and five. Big play in this ball game as Dewar tries to get the ball back. Yeah, no They'll play. burn the timeout. Yep. We'll take a break as well. 4.03 to play. It's 34-28. to Balco Forgan leads Dewar. Winner plays Laverne for the state championship next week, and you're watching it on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Tom Nelson, Adam Diesel Horst with you and Enid tonight. Bryce Miller, our producer engineer. Ethan Sunken. Who's our other camera guy? Got Ethan and who? Caden. Caden's here. Caden the Fortune. I don't think I've seen him tonight. He was down there eating a hot dog earlier. <laughs> Fourth down and five. Here we go. Hall's in trouble. Oh, now wow. he's rolling right as a wide wow. open receiver. There's a touchdown. Are the linemen downfield, though? Mason Romju. Is there a flag? No, there's Dewar no flag. Dewar thinks there should be a flag. There's not one. Oh, wow. Now a late flag, and that's going to be uh, probably on the sideline, Dewar sideline. Is it going to be on Dewar sideline, or are they going to call a lineman downfield? Yeah. Well, it was a really, really late flag if it's a lineman downfield, but you are exactly right. See, that's what I was thinking, that Dewar was upset because that flag was not thrown. Yeah, and I don't know. The, the lineman made his way downfield further as the play went along. The, the ball was already wow. thrown, so I don't – this is where you need replay. This is a game-changing decision right here. Yep. So fourth down and five will turn into fourth down and ten. Back to the 30. Wow. Take the touchdown off the board. Well, the officials got it right. It took wow. them a while to throw that flag, but they got it right. So now it's fourth down and 10, 3.53 to play in the ball game. They didn't score. They didn't count that. Yeah, take the points off the board. Hall toward the end zone. Got has him. a man. Oh, wow. Great catch for the touchdown. What a pass. Jordan McGowan. <laughs> what a play. What a touch throw by Jaden Hall. And that could be what gets – Balco Forgan to the state championship game. And and what's crazy is 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 uh Calum Carter had the had he was there in coverage. I mean, he was right there. It was a heck of a I don't think he knew the ball was in the air. What a catch. Jordan McGowan second touchdown catch of the night, now 23 on the season, and that was beautiful. 40 to 28 now they'll go for two. It's a two possession lead for the Bulls. Man, that is insane. On fourth down and 10 from the 30, the 30 yard touchdown hookup. Still quite a bit of time left, three and a half minutes, 3.45 in, in a game like this. Hall. Oh, wow. In jail. Oh, goodness. Stays on his feet, stays on his feet, stays on his feet, and, and he'll be pushed back just shy of the goal line. What a run, though. <laughs> oh, that was impressive. 33.45 to play in the ball game. Balco Forgan now leads 40-28. to 28. We'll take a break. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. 
Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. The touchdown pass from Jaden Hall to Jordan McGowan, 30 yards on fourth and 10. It's now a 12-point lead for Balco Forgan, 345 to play. It caps a nine-play, 52-yard drive. It took four minutes and 48 seconds. And so now, Dewar needs to score, get the ball back. They have no timeouts remaining. It's not impossible. But Balco Forgan can win this ball game with their defense now. There's any fans that are out there that are interested in a very close game. Cashin leads Pahuska 35-31, to and it has to punt back to Pahuska with 16 seconds left to go in the oh game. Oh, my. That game be about like last season. Here's the kick. And Dewar is going to get really good field position here. It's covered by that guy on the front line. That is Jacob Mooney. So Dewar's got it first down and 10. They'll start the drive at the 48. Just been notified Cashin has just won the game. So Cashin will be returning to the Class A state championship to face a familiar foe in Ringling. That will be the second time they've played them in three years. So Dewar, Jamison Ross will bring him out. 344 to play. They're down 12. Two wide to the right side. One back set from the shotgun. Hang off, hand off to. Uh, oh, goodness. That is Bean that time, and he took a shot. He'll end up getting a couple out of it. I'll tell you what, Jordan McGowan is a player, and just a junior, too. He's made some huge plays in this game. Need to give a shout out to Ben Johnson out there watching in eastern Oklahoma in the Broken Arrow area. Ben helped us out for a while, and. Uh, does a great job covering high school sports and media in Oklahoma and the Tulsa area and all over. Oh, Throwing got across him. the got middle him. is Ross wide open to the 25 to the 20. And Brown field out of bounds. I mean, they like that play. I don't know if that's an intentional play, but, man, they really like that. Down to the 17-yard line. We'll mark him out. First and 10, 17-yard line. 32-yard Pitch and catch right there. Brownfield's seventh catch of the ball game. Now go right side. Well, this is a situation where Dewar, having used all their timeouts, may come back to haunt them some. Of course, the way they throw it around, it probably won't matter. A little short completion right there. Give them four. Ooh, that's going to be almost a touchdown. Up the middle inside the 10-yard line. Carter on the carry that time? Yep. Yep, it is. And he'll get inside the 10-yard line to the 7, 10-yard gain, move the chains first down. So it will be first and goal from the 7, still 240 to play. Ross to throw. Oh, is that picked? It was. Picked at the 1-yard oh, line. Oh, goodness gracious. There's the big defensive play that Balco <laughs> Forgan needed. It's Peyton Conkle. Look at Balco's coach. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can we get him on video? <laughs> Fired up a little bit, coach. You deserve oh, to be. My gosh. He's losing it. He just ran 40 yards down the field. <laughs> Peyton Conkle. <laughs> oh, Nick Nichols man. and Jake Regeer are the co-coaches for Balco Forgan. They're 233 from going to the state championship game against an old foe, district rival Laverne. Man, Dewar's kids have played their heart out in this game. There's still 2.33 left. They need to get a stop here and, unfortunately, not have any timeouts. They're not going to be able to stop the clock. But you could get a safety, get the ball right back. So the drive will start with 2.33 to play in the ball game. Oh, wow. First down, there it goes. Jaden Hall out across the 20-yard line. That was much needed. Get out of the shadow of your own goal post. He's out of the 30-yard line. There's a gain of 28. First down. When in doubt, give it to your meal ticket, Jaden Hall. 
First down and 10. Clock rolling 2.19 to play. Keep in mind, Dewar has no timeouts remaining. Nothing but time for the Bulls. Well, you look at Balco Forgan. They had to go to Davenport and pick up a huge win last week, 58-12. to They're looking to knock off Dewar, take out a, the big beast of the East, and there goes Hall again. Man, he is just possessed on this drive. Jaden Hall across midfield. Well, we – we talked about it earlier, Tom, you know, the success that both of these communities have had, both in football and basketball and the tradition and the history that they had. But it has been a while since, you know, either one of these schools has hoisted up a gold ball and, um, in a, in, you know, in some of the bigger sports like this. So, um, you know, it's got to be super exciting for the community, for both the communities and having that opportunity to get to that state championship game. Well, Dewar, the defending state champion, they got a gold ball last year, but you're right, Balco Forgan been a while and they've had some struggles over the past couple of uh, three or four years with the program with numbers and all that that's why Balco and Forgan co-opt and it's working out quite well and Jaden Hall will take a knee the greatest play in high school in any kind of football well there's a lot of just proud Balco alumni there's a lot of proud Forgan alumni I promise you I've been getting text messages from a handful of them and I, I mean it means a lot to this community um, it'd be exciting to see them play like you said another B1 opponent in the final I sure wish we could call that game. I'll have to be watching from afar. I will be in <laughs> Denver next weekend. Most likely will be on Friday night. Good question of where it will be. Swazoo, Woodward, Alva. Take a knee. And that should do it. Balco, Forgan, moving on to the state championship game. And that'll do it. Dewar's season will come to an end. A record of 12. Correction, 13 and 1. And that long winning streak, 27 straight, will come to an end. 40 to 28, the final. The Bulls are moving on to the state championship game where they will take on Laverne. They're now 13 and 1. Two great teams. Somebody had to see their season come to an end and a tremendous ball game, the 12-point win for Balco Forgan. Our post game will begin after this. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordle, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12 she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about all of this research program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also it's definitely a huge step in the right direction that we've been waiting for for a long time. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. 
Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-priced tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village and South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Our middle daughter actually has a heart defect, and uh, we didn't find that out until we found out um, when she was about 12, she had a genetic disorder. She has two right coronary arteries and no left. Luckily to this day, she hasn't had any symptoms, but you know, there's always that chance that something will happen, um, and it's, it's kind of scary. She has to visit the cardiologist every once in a while, more often than you and I definitely would, just to get CAT scans and MRIs to make sure everything is still going the way it's supposed to go. But Every year when that happens, who knows what you're gonna find. I'm extremely excited about the All of Us Research Program. I wanted to participate not only because I wanted more cardiology research for my daughter and for our family, but also 
it's definitely a huge step in the right direction that we've been waiting for for a long time. Forty twenty-eight, the score, the win for Balco Forgan tonight over Dewar. And Balco Forgan, the Bulls, are on their way to the state's championship game. They'll take on Laverne next week for the Class B Gold Ball. Let's go back and recap the scoring. Early on, first quarter, eight seconds to play in the quarter. A 21-yard touchdown run by Jaden Hall gave Balco Forgan a 6 and nothing lead. Didn't take long for uh, Dewar to respond and even it up. 11.05 to play in the second quarter as a touchdown hookup from Jamison Ross to uh, Thomas Brownfield of 65 yards. Two-point conversion, no good, so we're tied at six early in the second quarter. Quick answer for Balco, a two-yard run by Jaden Hall. Gave them a 12-6 lead with 9.31 to play in the second quarter. And then uh, Balco Forgan would score again with 4.11 to play in the first half on a two-yard, uh, actually a 47-yard touchdown pass from uh, Jaden Hall to Adam Creason for Creason, his sixth touchdown catch of the season. A two-point conversion run was good by Nathan Smith, made it 20-6 to with 4.11 to play in the first half. Quick answer, a one-play drive for Dewar, 61-yard touchdown pass as hooking up was Jamison Ross to Ty Whitlow. And the two-point conversion was a pass to make it 20-14, to 3.53 to play in the first half. But on the ensuing uh, kickoff on the next play after Balco had got the ball near midfield at their own 47-yard line, a 53-yard run by Jaden Hall for the touchdown made it 28 to 14 after Hall's two-point conversion run. And at the half, it was 28 to 14. Balco Forgan with the two-touchdown lead. Dewar came out and got back within six, 8.28 to play in the third quarter on a Keelan Carter two-yard touchdown run. Then the two-point conversion pass made it 28 to 22. Balco Forgan had the answer. Nathan Smith, a seven-yard touchdown pass to Jordan McGowan to make it 34 to 22. That happened with 11 seconds to play in the third quarter. And Dewar's last touchdown came with 8.40 to play in the fourth quarter. A 43-yard touchdown pass. Great screen pass from Jamison Ross to Keelum Carter. And that made it 34-28. to But the nail in the coffin, basically, as Balco Forgan scored with 3.45 to play in the ball game on a 30-yard touchdown pass on fourth down and 10. As Jaden Hall hit Jordan McGowan. A two-point conversion, no good. 40-28, that's your final score. And Balco Forgan moves on to the state championship game, a record of 13-1. and one. Dewar sees their season come to an end. They finish 13-1. and one. Let's take a look at the numbers here really quick. First of all, for Dewar, 43 rushes for 170 yards. Leading the way was Caleb Carter, had 23 carries for 99 yards. Uh, and Jamison Ross, the quarterback, had... Uh, 30 carries. I'll take it back. No, he had 16 carries for 60 yards. So 43 for 170 on the ground. Through the air, Jamison Ross with 19 of 30 for 372 yards. Three touchdowns and two interceptions, including the last pass of the ball game, was picked off. And Balco Forgan able to run out the clock after that. 73 offensive plays for 542 total yards for Dewar in the ball game. For Balco Forgan, 43 rushes for 300 yards. How about the line for Jaden Hall? 32 carries, 256 yards, and three rushing touchdowns to uh, lead the way. Nathan Smith had 10 carries for 40 yards. Through the air, Jaden Hall and Nathan Smith combined to go 9 for 16 for 162. Two touchdowns and two interceptions. 59 offensive plays for 462 total yards in the ball game. For Balco Forkett and Jordan McGowan had five catches, 20 yards, five yards, a seven-yard touchdown pass, another big seven-yard reception which moved the chains, and then the 30-yard touchdown reception on fourth and ten that pretty much decided this ball game. So Balco Forkett moves on. They'll take on Laverne, and the last time those two teams hooked up, Laverne won 36-28. That ball game was at Laverne about a month and a half ago, and we will find out where that championship game will be, most likely 
tomorrow. We'll take a break. We're going to see if we can get some post-game interviews up here in the press box as the Balco Forgan Bulls are celebrating their trip to the state championship game. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scordo, brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. At Bellamine Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Eubank Haney Law Firm is proud to be a fan of high school sports. Andrew Eubank and Caleb Haney believe that clients deserve better. At the end of the day, that's how they measure true success. Their experience, confidence, and integrity ensures that your case will be handled in a reasonable, efficient manner, regardless of the legal situation you are facing. Get out of line and come to Eubank Haney Law Firm in Enid, Fairview, and Laverne. Call 580-234-4334 when winning is everything. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Welcome back to D. Bruce Selby Stadium in Enid, putting the ramps on a big win for the Balco Forgan Bulls. They're on their way to the state championship game, and we're joined by head coach Jake Regeer. And first of all, coach, congratulations. We were just talking with the combination, the co-op. Last time Forgan made it this far was, what, 2012 when you were in high school? Yes, sir. And then for Balco, it was back like 98, 99, something like that. Yes, sir. Talk a little bit about this. I mean, keeping in mind what your program three years ago was like one and eight. Yeah. How far you've come. Yeah, you know, these this group of boys, you know, when I first got to Balco, um, these, these seniors right now went 0-5, didn't even have enough to finish the season. Yeah. So, you know, at Forgan, um, we hadn't had football since 2012. So, both schools really knew they needed to do something. And, and me and Coach Nichols have known each other forever. His dad was my head coach and his head coach. And 
um, you know, our, our school boards and communities came together and, uh, you know, created this co-op. And, and we've just been taking steps, won three games that first year together. Uh, went eight and six to the quarterfinals this year. And, I mean, you just see what hard work and determination does. This group of seniors have just um, – it's been amazing just watching them grow and, and, and into this team. Talk a little bit about how tough it might have been a couple of years ago to bring kids from two rivals together – to come together on the football field like this? You, you know, uh, the, the kids, they just came together as brothers, and, and they loved each other from the start. And, um, you know, the two communities, you got you got so much, so many people that are proud and and uh, of, of what both places have accomplished. Uh, you know, one thing that I've always said is both communities expect to win. Um, they, they expect to be at this level. And so, uh, you know, I think it was something special. You bring that together mm -hmm. into one, and now – we really got something going, and, and uh, it's just been – I can't say enough about the two communities coming together, the, the kids coming together and, and loving each other as one. It's, it's, like I said, it's just been so special to be a part of. It, it's been a process, and you've been there since, they, you know, what, three years now. When did you realize that this team had the mojo to get to where you are going to now? You know, we, we, we thought that we had some pieces, and – and, uh, you know, some guys, we had, we had the size, we had the physical attributes. And, and you know, really it was just overcoming that men mentality. And, and uh, you know, the, the game that really put us over the top that I think made these guys believe was when we went to Cherokee last year in that first-round game. Um, you know, played really well, knocked them off in the first round when they were one seed and we were four seed. And, and you know, it just made the guys realize, like, you know, they can do this if they come together. And, um, you know, we made that quarterfinal run. And, I can't say enough about the off season these guys had. These seniors just took everybody under their belt and and expected us to work every single day in the weight room and off season. And um, it, again, it's just led to this. Is uh, that mentality is is special, and and those juniors and seniors have so much to do with it. Does playing that B one gauntlet help you when you go to Davenport last week, and when you play a team like Dewar this week? Can't say enough about what what B one is. Um, you, you know, you turn on game film and you turn on the Laverns, the Shattucks, the ceilings. The, they hit you in the mouth. I mean, their face mask hitting your face mask for four quarters, and um, it, it, it's definitely prepared us for this. Uh, you know, you can't say enough about having to go through those guys, and, and you know, and on top of that, there's well, – I'd say the best coaches in the state, you know, at yeah. Shattuck, yeah. at Laverne, all through there. There's, there's, there's a lot of wins combined right there. So, going through that schedule has definitely prepared us for games like last week, games like this. Um, we're we're battle-tested, and – and these guys have been through the thick of it, so def definitely a blessing to get to go through that. Interesting co-coaches, as you said. You've got uh, Nick Nichols and you. How has that dynamic worked? From, from the start, it's just something we talked about. If we were going to do this, we thought we needed one person from each school, and I was working at Balco, and he's working at Forgan, and we had the, I mean, we had the same philosophy on the field, off the field. You know, on the field, we wanted to uh, run the same stuff. Uh, like I said, his dad was our head coach. Yeah, so. yeah. So we had a lot of the same philosophies we wanted to do there and, and off the field. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of the things that we wanted to preach to the boys. We want to make sure we give the glory to God in everything that we do. And uh, that's been an emphasis from the start. And uh, just the way that we wanted to present this culture to the boys was um, we, we were just on the same page with it. And our staff's grown since that first year. Uh, I, I couldn't say enough about the staff that we have. we got special guys in it doing it now. So. Um, you know, it, it really came together pretty easily. It was it was definitely a fun fun time, and <laughs> man, we we love the heck out of each other. I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. You've got some weapons, including a pretty darn good quarterback. <laughs> We've been watching his film all year. I was great, glad to get a chance to see him play. Jaden Hall had him for 32 for 256 on the ground, three rushing touchdowns, and that's a man among boys. I thought I watched the video of the game. Two weeks ago, I believe it was, the Empire game, I think, and just saw it. First time I got a chance to really get a look at him, and it was great to see him in person tonight. <laughs> yeah, I can't say enough about Jaden Hall. Um, you know, first of all, just the leader that he is amongst the boys. Um, and every single day when practice is over, he, he stays after. He makes sure everything gets carried into the locker rooms. He's right there with the managers, and that's what you have to have your leader, your quarterback doing. And, and he, um, he, he just accepts that role. In the weight room, he's our hardest worker every single day. And, and I mean, you can just see it translate onto the field. Um, you know, he's one that can get in the huddle and tell the boys we're going to do this, and they believe yeah. him because he's put in the work. And, 
Yeah, he's just a, he's just a special special young man and a special athlete on the football field. A lot of times we just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do something, and man, he makes some special plays. Is he getting looked at to the next level? Yes, he's he's got several D two offers. Um, you know, a couple of his really good ones are, are Hardy and and, and Foria. So uh, he's going to have a chance to go play somewhere. He's got twenty four ACTs, working his butt off in the classroom. There and you go. Like I said, can't say enough good things about him and his leadership and and what he's meant for this program. Do you want to go ahead and get Coach Nichols in here? Let's go ahead and we'll switch him out real quick. Okay. Great job. Appreciate Fun to you. watch you guys from afar and better to watch him in person. And I've been uh, been talking to Jake for a long time, and we finally closed a we deal a couple of weeks ago on something. <laughs> you betcha. You betcha. Congratulations, and let's see what happens next week. Go ahead and win that gold ball. <laughs> That's what we – yeah, we were talking about the pick'em show a little bit. You're saying they're using it for motivation. <laughs> Coach Nichols will jump in here right now. And <laughs> I tell you what, uh, as I, I do ball, ball games for Enid High, my daughter's a cheerleader, and I've, I'm like 10 years older walk, walking those stairs for the past uh, tw 10 years or so. Coach, first of all, congratulations. And, I, you know, two schools coming together, that's a challenge in itself, and you guys have really pulled something together very nice. Yeah, we were talking before we um, came. You know, we have had some long road trips, and uh, me and Jaden were just kind of talking on the bus, you know, and, and – uh, we, we travel, you know, almost every day to one place or the other. You know, we do it usually by week. But, uh, you know, he's like, hey, we're, we're used to traveling all the time. And I think that's a – it's it's an advantage for us, um, you know. And you get to spend that time on the bus with each other and the bond grows. It's just, uh, you know, thank the Lord above for, for blessing me and Jake to be able to coach these young men. I mean, they're, they're fun to be around all week. Um, I love them, you know, and there's no – Oh, you're a Balco boy, you're a Forgan boy, Nola. They're, yeah. they're my boys. Tell me a little bit about the logistics of having to put this together. Okay, how far? About 20, 25 miles apart? Yeah. The two towns, something yeah, like that? Yeah, it takes about, I don't know exactly the miles. Yeah. Jake could probably tell you exactly. Um, it's about 30, 35 minutes every day. Okay. So what do you guys do? Is a, is a weekly practice schedule at one or the other? or what do you, How do you play your home games as well? We, we split those up. Um, uh, you know, we, we actually did this year which was awesome. The last couple of years we've done a homecoming at both places and, you know, as a coach. Oh, gee, two homecomings. <laughs> two homecomings. <laughs> it's too much. You know, and last week or last year we uh, – Belco had a homecoming, so we had it. We had that week. Um, and then we came to Forgan, first <laughs> district game against Laverne, and, you know, they whip our butts. And, and, uh, and this year I said, Jake, we've got to have homecoming together. We'll do homecoming at your place. We'll do senior night at ours. And then next year we'll flip-flop yeah. that. And I think that worked out um, incredibly well. You know, we had a Forgan Queen and a Balco Queen. Just it was, yeah. it was a Balco, and it was one week of it. So that was great for me. I, I want to, I want to ask you. I'd ask the same question to Jake. When did you feel like you had a chance to be where you are right now? When did it first click that this team had something special? Um, you know, when we first got together, I, I knew what athletes they had, and I knew what athletes I had. Um, you know, there was always that inkling. We thought we were going to be in Class C. Um, yeah. I'm not going to make, you know, I patted about that. That first year was in class C, and I felt like we were so close, but we just didn't have enough time to, to develop, you know. And then the next year we get we get thrown in class B, um, and I got I could go on and on about that. But I pouted for a while, and I yeah. felt sorry for myself, like, man, we're in B. And last year it was rough. You know, B1 is <laughs> – it's welcome to the SEC of eight-man yeah. football, you know. Yeah. And – we went through a, uh, uh, a four-game skid last year, right in the middle of the year. Um, dropped one to Hollis, and you know Laverne and Shattuck whip us, um, and then Turpin beats us. And those boys came together after that, and we won those final two, and we earned our playoff spot. Even though everybody made the playoffs, I thought it was a big deal for us to finish fourth and make it. And you know we we got went to Cherokee, and I'm telling you that night at Cherokee, it was a battle. We were down. I think we were down 12 points, two touchdowns late in the game. And those boys found a way to win. Yeah. And we had clutched fourth down catches, almost like McGowan's tonight. Yeah. And oh, after, geez. I mean, after that win at Cherokee, they bought in. Yeah. And, and, it, and it changed their, their mentality. And we went, you know, all the way to the quarterfinals and played that juggernaut Dewar team last year. Yeah. And I felt we competed for a half. We, it was only an eight-point game yeah. at half. And then we just fell apart. But – just the just the senior boys and and the belief in each other is just 
it's it's special. I, I want to ask you because I look at your schedule. This is why I remember I've been following you know week to week as we talked about you guys on the Pick'em Show and all that, and following you guys from from afar. Bouncing back from the Laverne loss with the win over Shattuck, a 28-point win over Shattuck, is that, was that a huge moment this season because Shattuck is Shattuck, and you go down there and get a big win. Then you bounce back nice from the Laverne loss the week before. Yeah, that was, that was huge for us. Um, you know, just believing that, you know, hey, we got beat by eight points at Laverne. Right there at the end of the game, we have a chance to, you know, to score and have to make a two-point conversion. And just played them, you know, led, led in that game for a long time. Um, and we and our boys knew, like, we can play with them. We can play with anybody in the state. And then that was 12-12 to 12 at halftime against Shattuck, and then their quarterback kind of got bunged up. But, man, we just, um, just turned it on there in the second half and just, you know, separated from them. And, and after that, the boys knew. They are like, man, we're going to do anything we can to – just our every goal that we have is still in front of us. Yeah, we might yeah. not be able to win the district championship, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be the opposite side of Laverne. We're going to have to play. I mean, you know, yeah. we went through number three and number two, <laughs> and guess who's standing there? Three, we got two, number one. one, man. Three, two, we, one. How could I mean? What, what more can you ask for to overcome that? Um, you know, when have fourteen boys, when you know, majority of Class B schools have yeah. forty, fifty kids to pick from, and it's just special. I mean, these boys are – they're already champions in my mind yeah. for what they've overcome to what – just to have a football program because without each other, we're nothing. Yeah. And together, we have this incredible group of young men that are just – they're ballers. One more week, you're going to play in the last game of the year and a couple of two little small towns out in the windswept, windswept plains, the panhandle coming together. And a chance to hoist that gold ball, and you got to play your arch rival to do it, I guess, right? Hey, <laughs> what you know, it's all—all all you got to do, you got to have that opportunity. And uh, um, I'm extremely blessed by the good Lord above to to be in this place where I'm at. And I, I could, this is my hometown. I, yeah. I grew up a Oregon Bulldog, and now we're the Bulls. I could care less. I just—I'm glad I get the opportunity to coach football. Sounds like a good book somewhere. Good hey. movie on down the line. Man, I, let's let's hope there's a storybook ending at this. Nick Nichols, thank you so much. Congratulations, Hey, I Coach. appreciate it, man. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Once again, your final score tonight. Uh, Balco Forgan moving on to the state championship game, their 13th win of the season against one loss. As they knock off undefeated Dewar, the 27-game winning streak comes to an end. Your final, 40-28. to We'll put a wrap on it. Been a great long night of football for me. Two games doing the afternoon game this afternoon. The Lincoln Christian uh, Holland Hall's 3A state championship game making the trip up here for this one. Quite a doubleheader, two great games, and I'm going to go home and go to bed. It's a long night. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the last football game we're going to broadcast, so the Scordell High School football game of the week comes to an end tonight, but basketball season is starting just around the corner. We'd like to th – got the pick up, pick up, one more pick -up show coming up this week. We've got state championship games to call next week, so we will be doing that. So we're looking for the uh, Scordell uh, pick -up show coming up on Wednesday around 8 o'clock or so. Put a wrap on it. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This has been the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week brought to you by High Plains Insurance. Good night, everybody.